Undertale's music is just so fucking good. Oh my god. Ness, how you doing, man? Hunting for that first in chat. How's it going today, everyone? Today is a fantastic day for me, and why? Well, I don't have to work tomorrow. And that means that my stress is gone. Beautiful! Ooh, Shafan with a second. Oh. Oh, okay. M Milady. <laughs> Milady. You just made me Milady. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thanks for the resub. How you doing today? Watching two streams at once. Ooh, fancy. And so far, I see you sneaking there with a second. <laughs> Come to the void once again. How'd you escape the void, Rex? No one should be able to do that. Is my mic peeking? Uh, hello, hello. Maybe. I think I might have just had it too close to my face. Usually my face is pretty nice, but sometimes it makes loud noises. Nothing sneaky about it. True. Chauvin, you're not known to be sneaky. Usually you're very out there and bold. Being well thankful it's Friday. Oh my god. Let, let me put it this way. At my job earlier this week, someone overdosed and the security guards had to give them Narcan. So it's been a little bit of a week at work. <laughs> we had a security lockdown the other day where we couldn't leave the building. It was ooh, it was great. Did I change mic settings? Not since last stream. It, everyone said it sounded okay last stream, so I'm not sure. Is anyone else having issues with my mic besides Nest? I can try to like reset it if so. You wish tomorrow wouldn't come? Oh, do you have to go back to work tomorrow, Chauvin? I know you said you like a whole week off of work. God. Who let Undertale's music be so good? It's just, it's... I set my goal for playing Undertale specifically because I heard their music again. <laughs> Toby Fox is a musical genius. Oh, the wedding anniversary is tomorrow. Oh no. I mean, oh yay, but oh no, you forgot. Sounds strange. Hmm. Maybe like do a re like a refresh of my stream if you didn't already. You're a smart cookie, so you probably already did that. To be fair, the weeping warbler. You, you know what? Let's talk to chat for a bit before I speak to the weeping warbler. <laughs> like, come on! I started the game. And you're already throwing like weird shit at me. All right. Well, plan for today is playing uh, Shadowbringers for most of the stream and capping it off with this wonderful tier list I found for the characters of Stormblood. I uh, personally think there should be more on the list, but nothing else was had any more than this. This is the best one. So I'll be doing that at the end of the stream. You good to see all my bad takes. Oh, all right. Well, we can't avoid disturbing horrible things for long, so let's go talk to the Weeping Warbler. Not you, Nanamo. <laughs> you, you one of the wanted, aren't you? Like me. Please, I need your help. My throat, it, it's, I can't sing anymore and they don't got no cough drops around here. I've been making excuses, but it's just not getting any better. If my patron thinks I'm of no use, who then... Then... I need you to sneak out of the derelicts to describe my condition to Thoriach. Here's a list of symptoms, and a hunger male to pay for his medicines. Please, I have no one else to turn to. You, you think they wouldn't have people on the inside to perform medication? 
or that she's just afraid that if they even knew that her throat was feeling sore, they'd kick her out. I mean, to be fair, they did fucking toss someone off a balcony for throwing off the Emperor's groove. Derelicts. Two more screenshots last night in Lakeland. Ooh. Yeah, make sure to toss them in the Discord. Your screenshots have been freaking awesome. You, you are an artiste with the G pose, Mr. X. <laughs> you need medicines, tonics, potions. Hmm, a cure for an alien voice, is it? No, no medicine will cure this. Methinks your songbird has a lump in the throat. It must be cut out, excised, and even then the voice may never heal completely. <laughs> Poor little songbird. Will they kick it from the nest, I wonder, or simply silence it, chips? Oh, <laughs> your face. You didn't know. Of the many helpfuls who enter the city, very few ever seem to leave, even as corpses. Oh, you might see one or two fortunate fools hurled back from the balconies, but the rest, gone. A town of nightmares it is, not for that ship rat. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm content to scurry around down here and nibble on the crumbs which fall from the table. This consultation's over. You have my verdict, and I'll have my mail. Good day. Damn. Harsh. Can we just see how I react to some stuff later on? If it's more fucked up, if it's more fucked up than what I saw the other day with the face melting children poisoning, I don't even know I can handle that. That shit sounds crazy. You better with G pose limited to the PS4 hardware. True. So that's awesome that you have that little screenshots even with the PS4. Real talk for a second, your voice is my guy. Thank you, show fun. That's like that that makes me very happy. <laughs> I I really like to do voices, so it's nice that you're showing some appreciation. It's not fucked up just a little blank. Oh. That's honestly more worrying, Nest. Did, did you get my medicine? Yeah, totally. I have to cut out your throat and excise it to replace your song? I don't know what happened. <laughs> so that's it. What am I going to do if I can't sing? Ah, there you are, my sweet canary. Have you been crying again? Don't tell me your voice is still not on the mend. Oh, uh, generous sir, have mercy. I I've done all I can, but even the apothecary said. Gotta leave it off. This <laughs> is fair. So, you've been suffering all this time. Oh, that's a happy face. I'm sorry, my pet. I didn't realize your affliction was this grave. But you needn't fret. I'll not reward your hours of trilling by casting you out into the street. You're too kind, sir. But what use am I if I cannot sing? I fear the day I become more burdened to you than treasure. Then I shall have a word with Lord Bothry and arrange for your ascension. In that paradise where resides neither pain nor illness, will your song ring out clearly once again? Or may have you think it a step too far? No, I, you, you would do that for me? Of course. Why, I would almost wish to hasten my own ascension, knowing your blessed instrument is waiting there to greet me. I don't like this ascension thing. I was thinking, oh, maybe he's ascending her up to like a free citizen, but he... But okay, he's not. Oh my god. Oh my god. The leader is said to be able to control the Sin Eaters. What if 
he's really ascending these people into Sin Eaters to keep them placated so they can just so that he can live his crazy like bodacious lifestyle all these people that are being ascended are being turned into these Sin Eaters huh huh not gonna lie, you're not too far from a point where blank, 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 you might want to break for Hildebrand. <laughs> I'll definitely have a Hildebrand break tomorrow. We'll see when we get there, definitely. So happy I don't have to work tomorrow. I just love my job. I love being home. Oh, nest. Oh, not to start complain hour. It'll be brief, but I've had a reasonable accommodation request into my work since December. And the HR just keeps fucking around. It was supposed to be put into place two weeks ago where I work full time from home. And I, 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 I mean, you guys know me. I'm sick like half the time. <laughs> um, but they keep pushing. They said three more weeks and they'll have the paperwork done. Like, I, God. Killers realizing Gilmore isn't all rainbows and butterflies. It's compromise that moves us along. Then you realize that when someone got thrown to the ocean about 20 stories up. Yeah, but Emperor Cusco did that, and we love Emperor Cusco. Ascension? Oh, you must be a new arrival. Allow me to explain. Yeah, but Cusco's a chat. <laughs> True. <laughs> As all know, the Sin Eaters exist to devour the sinful, but they do, but also do they serve to gather the souls of the innocent and shepherd them onto a celestial paradise. It is through Lord Vothry that we learn the truth. It is through Lord Vothry's grace that the free people of Yulmar are destined to embrace salvation. Okay, I was hoping that it'd be like more of a grand reveal and I was gonna be big brain later on, but he literally just confirmed it. I mean, like, I, pa I paused the whole stream. I had my theory crafting session. I was like ready to be either super right or super wrong. And the next fucking line of dialogue's like, yeah, Talail, you're right. <sighs> and if they're falling too far, Shofan, a dragon will Dave Six Machina and pick him up. We are blessed to spend our days surrounded by love and merriment until at last we are called to our final rapture. Even the bonded may find a place within that host should their patrons deem them worthy. Lord Vothry is truly a great man, isn't he? Now, if you'll excuse us, we shall be on our way. May you find eternal salvation for the compassion you have shown, my precious canary. I'm gonna go die and go see Jesus. Goodbye. <laughs> what was that little hint? Okay, my guy just did. Hi, Ancient. Oh, you've been leveling a dancer? Dude. Outfits on fleek, boyo. Hell yeah. Let us ascend. <laughs> I have ascended. Damn straight, Nest. <sighs> hey, Alfino, some weird fucking shit's going down. Nope. Oh, that's right, I can't, I can't fucking teleport up there. I'm not cool enough. Where the fuck am I? I'm going crazy. Really? What were you thinking, Shofan? Oh, please have Heaven's Gate cult outcome. Ugh. You ever stay up till 3 a.m. watching fucking cult dramas or, uh, like... like murder mysteries and unsolved murders and stuff like that. Sometimes, sometimes my brain takes me there. Yo, Floofy, how you doing, dude? How's your day going? 
Oh, I see you have a teleport up here, Ancient. You had to race up here to beat me. You know what, Chauvin? Fair, you do stay up till 3 a.m. to watch me have the time. Some people need to not skip story is getting to be crazy. I'm sorry, dude. I mean, if you're really not enjoying it, I don't know. Maybe you can, like, go back. You can always go back and New Game Plus it if you're feeling really not like you want to be in the story. It's just good to see you back. You've taken so long and began to worry something bad had happened. I began sketching an outline for the portrait, but... <sighs> nay. The chives appear otherwise occupied. Will you share one of your investigations and gleaned thus far? So... Lord Bothry boasts a manner of influence over the Sin Eaters, does he? That would explain the reverence in which he is held by the citizenry. As for this ascension business, I can't help but be put to mind of that apothecary and his ominous remarks. If so many folks have entered the city over the years, then where do they go? I'm like ten steps ahead of you, Alfie. Did I say ancient? Oh my god. Oh, you know, I'm embarrassed, but also you guys got different names in the game. <laughs> oh, oh God. The blushing, the blushing's happening. Oh, it's, it's a hot in here. <clears throat> hi, hi, Fluffy. I definitely knew it was you in this really cute outfit. Let me just let me just give you let me just give you a wave. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> Anyone know a pair of blob black gloves? Ah, I wish. Made 350k guild profit with almost no work. Sounds like it's got two thumbs and his name is Dolphin. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, but who's yeah, you're right. Who's counting Dolphin? Probably been leveling dancer. Level 80 skill is pretty funky. Wait, like, finally been leveling and you're level 80? How, <laughs> how long have you been playing, Fluvi? What'd you end up selling, Dolphin? I do like Alfino's new look. It is pretty spicy. Hmm. <laughs> I take my odds off you for one moment and you're chattering away with that assistant of yours. Might you assume the outline is done then? What, what the blazes? It's so, so unflattering. Explain yourself, Alfie, now. Where was your artistic interpretation? It should evoke images of affluence and nobility and overwhelm the viewer with its boundless beauty. Lord Chai, you said that this portrait was to commemorate your anniversary. Yours being a joyous union, seemed, seemed to me that a realistic portrayal. Realistic? I don't want realism. I want perfection. A spectacle to slacken jaws and weaken knees. Maybe you'll cry out in amazement. Now, fetch a blank canvas and... <laughs> Say, did that come from above? Walk shelves. Oh, interesting. So, like, you harvest with botany, and then you do, like, what kind of crafting is that? Damn, Chauvin, the fact that you knew the name of a really cool piece of, like, flair for Nest is awesome. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, long black gloves, augmented hailstorm gloves, Nettleshire, don't worry about it. One of the coldest cutscenes in the game. Hey, Kane! Apparently, you're right before a, a cold cutscene we should screenshot. How you doing, dude? Presenting Lord Farquaad. Let 
Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. A tale to make you quiver and your noble blood freeze. There was a villain on the loose set to ruin our fair city. But our lord has got him now and his fate will not be pretty. Yes, the hammer of justice is poised to come crashing down. And one and all who could watch it fall are invited to join us. But to join his lordship in the offer. I was doing really well with that performance, and then I went oop, boop, 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 at the end. Malcontent? How dreadful. And this man is to face sentencing. That's right. In fact, if you're curious, might be worth your going along for the experience. The offer they mention is part of the emergent, the level above us where Lord Vothry resides. Ordinarily, you'd be barred from entering, but it seems there'll be an opening in the doors for the next little while. The crown lift will take you up there. We better not dawdle then. They're diable. Ooh. Oh, so it's like a standard you got, Shofan. Nice. Harvest of rosewood from botany and bought 50k worth of book materials. Huh. I mean, yeah. That's that's awesome. Up to almost 2.5 million gil? Damn, boy, I got stacks on stacks on racks. You forgot why you're in Yule War at the moment? <laughs> For some reason, probably. Oh, oh, where am I going? No, please. Uh... Sure, I'll have those, I guess. <laughs> Yo, Chad, the lift operator. No problem, man. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Hey, fucking Java the Hut over here. That's Volthry. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this little potato head. He looks like an Alolan Diglett. Funny. Oh, she's not in the room. Damn it. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. Lord Chungyin himself, I'm saying. Oh, cool! There's there's sin eaters everywhere. He's Don't like that. By sin eaters. But how does he keep them from attacking? By sacrificing people. Mercy, mercy. Big Chung is the first. The by chonker. You got beef with this man, but but he's the beefy one. Yo, it's the prime dude. What's happened? Why is he sliced and diced? And why does he have a fucking kukri? Kaishia, what happened to you? Who are these impudent louts? I do not recall requesting their presence. Ooh. Big Chungus the first, original Chungus. <laughs> Oldest cutscene in the game? Oh no. Lord Vortry, what is the meaning of this? Why is this poor man bleeding to death on your floor? Why? You ask me why? Because criminals must be punished. And this man is guilty of fraud. He came to us claiming to be a man of business. Yet his subsequent conduct has shown him to be anything but. You're is a city built on love for one's fellow man. Those who have naught to give and live only to take are a blight upon our society! What happened to the Pearl game, bud? To atone for this crime, I ordered that he fling himself from the balcony. But he had the temerity to weep Please, my lord, <laughs> anything but that. What then is a man of mercy to do? 
but offer the sinner another way to show his contrition. Another way? Meaning what exactly? Sin eaters are part of Yulmore's society, but they must be fed with ether. Living ether. Ugh. So, I demanded an offering of flesh, carved by his own hand, from his own hide. Oh, man meat. And still, still, he could not do as I asked. A wholly unsatisfactory performance. Oh. It is true that Kaishia won his place here by fraud, but his actions were driven only by a desire to share in your paradise. That you would cast him out, I could almost accept. But to humiliate him thus, to demand his very life, is this truly the way of Yulmor? Fucking dunk on him, Alfie. Fucking Uno reverse card, Alfie's dunking instead of getting dunked on. Oh, you dim, deluded child. Have you ever paused to consider what it takes to maintain such a paradise in this barren, broken world of ours? The guarantee of safety and stability. The knowledge that if one only abides by the rules, one has naught to fear. I alone can offer these things, for I alone... Oh my god, I just realized it's not just a little, like, pudgy bloop, but he has, like, a whole, like, single-strand greasy ponytail around, too. Jesus Christ. And thus am I alone the voice of justice. And any who oppose me, villains to be punished. Yeah, we're clapping. Alpi Redemption Arc, I'm saying. Yeah, my fellow Scions keep stopping me from punching people. I was gonna do it, I was gonna give them a hack and punch. You were granted a place in my city. For a particular skill. What was it? Painting. Oh, an artiste! Then you shall paint a picture for me. Of you. If I find your art pleasing, just pick up my canvas and throw dirt on it. Use this display of insolence. Magic. Who gave you permission to tend to that criminal's wounds? I told you to paint me a picture. Oh. What you need is a mirror, not a painting. It will capture the horror I see before me far better than I ever could. Yo! Boy's got sat the over the shoulder as well. Are you kidding me? Can't even like turn it over the shoulder. Oh my god. <laughs> His face. I think so. Surprised it's not like God sees them. Did that little worm just insult me? <laughs> Took him a second. You can almost see the dot, dot, dot over his head. <laughs> little baby man. I'll kill them. I'll kill them all. Little baby I'll man. Save their minds. I torment them. Torture them! No, then tear out their hearts! And they're all like, yeah! This guy who's ruling us and throwing this temper tantrum like a baby, he's gri great. Was that fucking Solus? Can the Assians go between shards? I guess they must be. Yeah, I guess they have to be able to go between shards. 
Let me grab unacceptable. Mm -hmm. Unacceptable. But lemon grab isn't the best. <laughs> lemon grab is probably one of the best characters in Adventure Time. Twenty years, twenty years dungeon. Oh God, that was great. I love that. What a good goddamn line. Although, but he basically just said, "You're ugly. Look in the mirror." But he said it in a cool way. They reveal that he actually is Lemon Grab. Like he unzips the fat suit and Lemon Grab walks out. Forgive me. In my anger, I seem to have marched us back outside again. Uh, though it probably best we leave the island altogether. I believe we've worn out our welcome in Yulmore. In any case, I've seen enough to the world's self proclaimed capital city to convince me that our battle against the Sinditas will find a few allies in Colusia. I will accompany you back to the Crystarium. We need to regroup and think on our strategy anew. So probably going to go after Yishtola next, right? Pashir, I have done you a great disservice. You are hungry and desperate, and I offered you a solution without once considering the risk inherited in you accepting it. If I had but known the price that we may be made to pay. I mean, he could have just kept bringing, like, fruit and vegetables to the fucking people to get pearls. I don't... Let me like think of Morty from Rick and Morty. Well, I mean, they're the same voice actor. Yo, dude, guys, we got to buy followers, primes, and viewers on my stream store. I like, come on. Fucking. I don't need to buy followers. I'm an affiliate. Followers don't followers don't do anything for me besides like bring people into the stream. Buying followers wouldn't do anything for me. Delete the bots, I'm saying. Oh, I, it always hurts because I'm like, oh, a new chatter. I'm excited to meet this person. And then, <laughs> then it's like, call our hotline, sexy. Oh, goodness gracious. You gave me everything I needed to make your idea work. It was me who made a mess of things, not you. But even after I all the trouble I caused, you still stepped in and saved me. And now Lord Valthry wants us all dead. Why not come back to the Crystarium? I'm certain we can find work for you there if you're willing. No. That would just be me leaning on your kindness again. I need to do some thinking. Learn how to stand on my own two feet. Here, I'll, I'll give you a Morty. Oh, jeez, Rick. I, I don't know about this, man. This seems a little bit intense. You got two different hotlines that we call them both. <laughs> are you feeling hot? I'm feeling hot. Are you feeling hot? Yeah. What are you wearing? Yeah. What are you wearing? <laughs> like, <laughs> your retainer just brought me a rug worth 85k gill. Holy shit, Dolphin. <laughs> Welcome to the buy this thing hotline. Are you ready to buy this thing? Ow. I'll keep my head down, don't worry. And you take care too. Give me the chance to repay you for what you've done. <sighs> Alf. Alfino. Oh. Lord and Lady Chai. What the place did you do? They have the entire city looking for you. I took a peek at your unfinished portrait, Alfino. You know. Now I've had many a beautiful and stirring picture painted of me, but there was something about your work. It was as if you had coughed the very essence of our love and rendered it naked upon the canvas. It was bold, unflinching, and I adored it. Please, you must come back with us and finish what you began. I will speak to Lord Valthry and vouch for your character. I'm sure we can smooth out any hard feelings. Shucks. I'm sorry, Lady Chai. There's more important matters to which I must attend. You probably feel like that run, I bet. Leave me the carpenters that use 25 burst logs to make burst lumber and rewards 40... Jesus. 
You don't, Ness? This sounds like a great time. Any Arius in chat? <laughs> more important. What could be more important than enjoying the days we have left to the fullest? Pray pass me no further. We are leaving. But I would not presume to take the garments you were so kind to procure for me. One moment. Let me get naked real quick. I wouldn't hear of it. Keep the clothes, you silly boy. I insist. And I shall make arrangements so that you can pass through the gate without causing a stir. I expect you to come and visit. I will return. I promise you that. The outrage I witnessed must not go unanswered. The next time we meet, I shall be better prepared to confront the corruption which hides behind the glittering facade. I do, I mean, it really is amazing. She is wholesome. I, she's like the first wholesome character in a while. Oh. oh I can, I can, I can teleport. Fifty-seven to seventy-one in two minutes. They make leveling up crafters and gatherers really easy, huh? That's wild. There's a lady chime minion, really? Sheesh. Gotta get myself that, right? Thank you, my friend. For staying my side through the whole sordid endeavor. While it's not quite the joyous outcome I had hoped for, our efforts have nonetheless answered a great many questions. Suffice it to say, our plans for saving the first are unlikely to involve the aid of Lord Vothry and his subjects. Come, you must speak to the XR and chart a new course. This is far from over. Alright, so we just had like Alfie Redemption arc, and like we're super like hell yeah, Alfie, that was really cool. I do want to point out that he's been here for a year and he literally did nothing till I came by. Nothing. He didn't do anything. He's kind of just like dicked around and was like, hey guys, maybe don't be stupid. And they're like, no. That's literally his whole thing. At least Ali State was out killing Sin Eaters. Alfino was just twiddling his thumb and was waiting for us to come save him. He spent a lot of guilt to power level where you spend a lot of time you want to rip, out, rip your own face off. Sounds like both of them are horrifying prospects. How you doing today, Azzy? How's your day going? Cove for buying an art book? Oh! You want Jai Cove a little pog champ? Fine. I guess you are my little pog champ. He doesn't need a backup? I'm saying. It's a great day. Uh, I was worried because I was on lobby today, which is really bad on my physical health, but it wasn't too busy, so I didn't have to get up and down over and over and over again. So I, mean, I get to come home and hang out with you all. It's a pretty good day, honestly, so far. Ah, good to be back amongst friends, not to mention my dear sister. I've not seen her for some time, but I gather she is keen to press on with our plans, as am I. And you've seen... Seen quite a lot of the first yourself now, more than enough to appreciate the scale of the obstacles we face. Let us say our discoveries before the Exarch and discuss what must be done. Cut scene. Cut scene. And so you return. Have you gained a better understanding of the crisis now faced by the first? Like, I keep looking for teeth. I'm half convinced it's Grahatia. Better is not the word. I guess he doesn't have claws either, so he probably can't be Grahatia. Some lands may have been spared the flood, but the survivors live only to suffer. There seems no end to the horrors inflicted by the Sin Eaters. Oh, goodness. Well, newly diagnosed means they can probably start work on it. Finding out how to put a name to something is always the best start. 
You say you admire my ability to deal with people. <laughs> the problem is, is that uh, I'm literally waiting to be on a work from home job because I can deal with them on the phone, uh, person to person. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Indeed, those abominations are a calamity in their own right. And I can well imagine how hopeless the task of eradicating them must seem to you. But after countless battles and untold sacrifice, we have identified a potential weakness. Ooh, 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 weakness? Sin Eaters are drawn to serve the strongest of their kind, a class of creature we call Light Wardens. Oh, the crazy From angel? What we have been able to ascertain, only a handful of these entities exist. Just as an ant colony will perish in the absence of its queen, we believe that the death of a light warden will cause the lesser creatures within its sphere of influence to disperse. Sure, I guess? That seems like a contrived plot point, but maybe that's just me. Time for you to log in? Ooh. Never wanted to leap over a counter and physically stream. Oh my god. Yeah, retail makes you want to go crazy, Floopy. I agree. I would I would normally too, Azzy. The thing about my job is because I work for a state institution, the rules are the rules. So it's not customers calling in that we're trying to appease. I have I have the power to say no, you're not qualified and end the conversation. I don't have to deal with people screaming at me. I don't have to deal with swearing or insults or anything like that. Cause once they start, if I can't de-escalate, I just hang up the phone. So I, I at least have the privilege of being backed by solid rules where usually when you're dealing with like customer support or anything in retail, once a customer gets pissy and angry, they get what they want, which just encourages that behavior. On my job, I can just say, hey, I'm sorry, you're not qualified. Click. <laughs> Every single customer at Subway is infuriating. I imagine. Light Wardens will be like the Sin Eater commanders of sort. Oh, I guess so. Hey, Ark, how you doing? Um, I don't know. I feel like even if they killed a commander, they should be able to just like create a new one. They seem to be just beings created of Aether. I don't know. Oh yeah, food is rough. I, I used to work in a, um, it was a Pizza Hut Express, basically, which is like a counter that served personal pans and stuff like that. And I worked there for like six years and Jesus Christ. It, it got to be the point where I could see someone walking up and I'd be like, that person wants a fucking pepperoni pizza. That one wants a pretzel. That one wants a bag of popcorn. I do like, I would see them walking up and I know exactly what they wanted. <laughs> Fair enough, I might be able to do something like that. Yeah, definitely. It's a whole different context. Looking forward to some more despair. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. I got to deal with that fat crybaby a bit. And, you know, people being sacrificed to be <laughs> turned into light eaters, or what they're called, sin eaters. 40s retail experience, I agree, it makes you crazy. Wish you can just fire you. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, being fired is pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, one second, guys. I need to go <clears throat> plug in my fan. I get very warm sometimes when my body is not happy. It would probably be better if I wasn't so, you know, chubby. Probably be able to moderate my temperature a bit better, but that would require me doing like exercise and eating well, and that just doesn't sound fun. Like, is that just me? It just doesn't sound like a fun time. Ugh. Agobus Vothri's VA though is very good. Very good. He he had all the gravitas and bullshit of what that guy should sound like. True, true, X. But sometimes people are living paycheck to paycheck. Like, if I, if I lost my job and we didn't have any savings, wife and I would be pretty fucked. Luckily, I'm in a position where I was able to take a month off work to deal with my health a while ago, but that pretty much exhausted our savings, so... <laughs>
Yeah, I will say, I think that's a good point. The, the, how to phrase it, the ideology has kind of shifted in recent years because people are starting to not want to deal with the fact that they're being treated like shit. You lost nine pounds so far? Hell yeah, Ness. That's awesome. I've probably gained like nine pounds. <laughs> oh, definitely, Dolphin. Uh, and that's why, um, oh, fuck, what was his name? Acai was so good. You really wanted to deck that guy. Or, um, uh, Emerlane, is that his name? The, the guy that Thancred punched. <laughs> you know, you do it. Fourth up experience will open a lot of doors for you, Rex. That is a good point. Uh, I'm CPR certified, so that's kind of cool. Have something to say about any concerted action we take against these monsters. Vorthra's command of the Sin Eaters is integral to Yulmoran society. In seeming to guarantee his people's safety, it guarantees their obedience. He will not take kindly to us depriving him of such useful allies. Oh, well. Agreed. I mean, you like Thus poke him and all his liquid all leaks out. Looks like an overinflated balloon. Proceed with the business of eliminating the wardens. Until we have done so, all other considerations must be set aside. If we are to forestall the eighth umbral calamity. I do want to say though, twins are on fleek with their new outfits. Ali says was so bad, like so bad last expansion. She was just all beige. Say someone for the rest of us. <laughs> Fish want me. Woman fear me. Reputation in my area and retail sectors. I more than once left a job, took over half an hourly retail staff with me. Oh my god. You stationed a walkout, Jesus. Yeah, exactly, Azzy. Not only that, but it helps people abuse you while you're hired. Hey, Chilled. How you doing, dude? It's been a bit. It's been a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm Shadowbringers now. <laughs> it's too late, Sonic. I am now forklift certified. I'm the real hedgehog. Are you sure eliminating the wardens will be enough? I personally don't think so, as, you know, Kaleo. Your uncertainty is understandable, given the circumstances. Perhaps a more detailed explanation is in order. To begin at the beginning, then. I literally saw to begin at the beginning, and I was already snickering. You don't, you don't have to specify that you're beginning at the beginning of the beginning. I mean, come on, dude. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you like that. You don't need to, like, do magic at me. What the fuck? In the ancient past, a single star was divided into 14 worlds. I've actually never been fishing before, Nest. We rocked both their outfits, so you did steal their drip, is what you're saying. I was asking if I'm ever going to come back. <laughs> These keep firing people. Essentially, that's kind of what happened with me a bit. Um, I was assistant manager at a GameStop, and after I left to go to a, I don't know, a real job? I don't know how to phrase it. Like an office job. Um... They didn't get a new assistant manager for like probably eight or nine months. They just kept firing one after another. I think one point they promoted someone to assistant manager and then they got caught stealing games and had were arrested. <laughs> oh. I have 70 alternative accounts. I'm 60 accounts ahead of you already. Just out of the middle of the story? Good point. Big lore incoming? Oh god, my brain. I don't know if my brain can handle big lore. The Exoc lore dump? No! <laughs> I've already spent the whole day thinking. I don't want to think more. I want to turn brain off and do Unga Bunga. This is the source, your home. These others are the 13 shards, in whose number we find the first. Though physically separate, they retain a connection to each other and with the source especially. Now, let us assume that a given element oh, in one of the shards attains abnormal ascendancy. 
I feel like I see a little bit of teeth there. Just as water huh? will that one's green. From the highest point to the lowest, the excess energy will begin trickling into the source. You should notepads? Oh no, I don't have a notepad. I'm not prepared. And such uh, an influx of ether. I have a sticky will note. Exert a palpable influence. Uh. uh. Okay, we got uh, ether. If the element in question were fire, then drought and wildfires might ensue. If it were ice, one might expect the weather to turn bitterly Fire cold. bad? Okay. As ether continues to pour in, such phenomena will become more and more extreme, until eventually, a single, untimely event triggers a disaster which cracks the barrier dividing the two worlds. Oh. What was once a trickle now becomes a deluge, sweeping the shard along to be rejoined with the source. Shard got sucked. Okay. At the same time, the element which held sway in the shard is unleashed in full. Its energy is amplifying the original disaster to truly catastrophic proportions. An earthquake thus magnified might strike with enough force Jesus. to shatter continents. A tidal wave might swell to a size capable of drowning entire nations. Oh god, we got water bad too now? I'm running out of space to put sticky notes on. Okay. These devastating events are what we refer to as umbral calamities. Umbrella calamity. Seven times has a calamity befallen the source. Seven times has a shard been absorbed. What? What shard was absorbed to cause the calamity of Bahamut? That's not an elemental calamity. That was like Dalamud descending. Unless I'm mistaking something. Rain the people of canine teeth too. Let me believe, Shofan. Let me believe it's Grahatia. I'm a conspiracy theorist right now. I was right. I was right in Naruto when I said that Toby was Obito. And, and no one believed me. And I was right there. Conspiracy theorist Talel is saying that this is Grahatia. No, you're missing my beautiful sticky note. Bluefy? <laughs> non aspected days with Bahamut. Oh, interesting. Is that it? At present, the light drowned realm of the first stands perilously close to meeting the conditions for a rejoining. It is the Sin Eaters who are to blame for the light's continued dominance. In addition to attracting their lesser kin, the Light Wardens I mentioned earlier radiate ether, saturating every corner of their territory with light. Okay. Even here in the flood spared region of Norvrant, their influence is strong enough to banish night from the sky. I already knew this. I don't need Thus, to be explained again. To restore balance to the first and head off a potential calamity, it is imperative that we put each and every but light. I feel like that's trying sea. to like plug up a ship with your finger though, you know? I feel like that's that there's more than we can handle there. We've been doing our best to take the fight to the enemy ever since we first heard the Exarch's explanation. Though we have yet to claim any meaningful victories if truth be told. Apart from being confoundingly elusive, the Light Wardens possess a troublesome quality which compelled us to delay our plans until such time as you arrived. Uh, they're big and strong. We need fucking God Slayer Talel to come help. <laughs> that's right, Floofy, that's right. Every time you see me, it gets more wacky. Yeah, he's bunny girl again. My lord, but Holminster Switch is requesting reinforcements. Oh, her accent. They say the Sin Eaters are attacking in force, and the village could soon be overrun. <laughs> That's my cue.
Alert the guard. We should be prepared in case the fighting reaches the Crystarium. You have command of our forces in the field, Captain, but hold off on entering the town until I arrive. That goes for Alphano and Alize as well. My lord. Pray, lend us your strength. What am I going to say now? I provide you with far greater insight than any explanation I could offer. And the ultimate thing I learned from this entire lore dump. Are you ready? It thing do good. Right. Right there. The most important part, right here. I. I look really fucking stupid. I, I have purposely not been looking at myself until now, and oh my. <laughs> I, ah, ooh. Ugh. All right, here, we'll, we'll keep the, the hit thing do good up there, because now, now we remember that hitting thing makes a good thing happen. It's stabbing time? Exactly, Rex. Twitch doesn't gonna behave? Oh. All right. Sorry, Floofy. Pretty cheap electro cosplay. <laughs> Holminster Switch is the north of Lake of Lakeland. We best make haste without preparations. In fact, meet me outside the Crystarium on the crossroads northwest of the center gate. I shall lead you there myself. You can't me you can't make me do anything, dumb crystal boy. Oh, I have to go this way. <laughs> I'm being bummed. <laughs> All right, so Alfino's was like the easy one. I, I almost wish I started with Alfino just so I could have had a little bit more time to deal with Ali Say's insanity. Alfie knows at least, like, understandable, fucked up stuff, like, oh, a society that treats everyone bad. Yeah, I can get behind that. Ali Say was like, hey, let's kill children with poison fruit and, like, stab people and turn them into Agent Smith from the Matrix. You did say you would <laughs> pick the rough one? <laughs> no one? True, Jovan. You tried to warn me and I said, but I, but, but I like Ali Say. She's cool and pog champ. Far too fast for my own good. I'm fast as fuck. Lena warns of incoming attack where innocents are in danger. Damn that accent. I. You gonna fucking not agree with me when I say damn that accent? Don't be sounding fine. Jesus. Hi. <laughs> he scampered up to me. <laughs> I think it's pretty pog champ. I'm saying. That was a great... Prohibit? Do you mean profit? Mr. Genki once said, fun time, murder time. But in this case, it means Sin Eaters. I mean, fun time, murder time has pretty much just been Final Fantasy's story. It's just, we murder very good, therefore we are the good guy. Hell yeah, Dolphin. Or you could be like the rest of Chad, just never unlock the flying. All set. If you follow this road north, we'll arrive at the northern staging point. The village itself lies not far beyond. Quickly now. Where am I going? 
Jesus. It lies not far beyond, he says, is the top of the fucking map. You, you need to stop being aggro at me. You still can't fly in Shadowbringers? <laughs> we need to have a day where we just get you all your fucking flying. It's called Make My Chat Not Be Dumb, and I just walk around with you guys and help you do the flying quests. It's a little bit of a pit stop over here. Grab the eighth right. Exactly, I'm saying, Ark. I don't think like, everyone's like, but I don't wanna. I, I will say, it would be annoying to go get the Aether Currents again, because you, you, if you do the questing, all the Aether Currents are usually neck, like in the main path of the quest. And I imagine they weren't like that. They're more spread out before. So, I, I'm, I'm talking with the privilege of youth over here. <laughs> I'm like, just fucking flying around we're born, five head. But what was that dumb resource that they got rid of that you guys were all complaining about? The TP or something? You had unlock before it really hacks us for these? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Fuck TP. Everyone, everyone's been saying it to me. I'm glad I never had to experience it. I'm glad they asked what color leaves would be under constant light and I found it was purple. That, you know what? That is a fun fact. Uh, fun fact, saying in. <laughs> oh, hey, Chopin. We're matching on ponies. How you doing today, saying in? Retreat your AoEs badly. So it's just like a secondary resource similar to like mana, and it was just bullshit. You need to hop off my jock, asshole. I don't need you chasing after me. I'm party leader now. The responsibility. I I don't know, Floopy. Although I guess you can't hear me. What's the? I can't make jokes at you, Floopy. This sucks. Is a skill mana? Thank God it's Friday. I'm fucking saying. Play warrior job that doesn't use MP, so every single skill you have costs TP. Oh, yeah, that does sound like shit. <laughs> I really did, like, join the golden age of Final Fantasy. I'm assuming this is a dungeon because everyone's, like, all around. Kane's right there, too. to switch in the past these gates and through the woods this is not exactly a near neighbor of the crystarium but as we occupy the same region we have built up something of a, a cooperative relationship what can we expect inside captain i'm gonna try chat but i'll be real with you there's no fucking way i'm getting her accent even close the town is beset by a swarm unlike any we have seen in recent years. We did our best to evacuate the villages, but as many as half remain. Judging by the number of eaters present, we have good reason to believe that the Light Warden leads the attack. How convenient. It seems we have a chance to slay a Warden sooner than we expected. One does not simply slay a Warden. Has no one told you what happens if you defeat one of those fiends? They hold more light inside them than all the underlings put together. I'm losing it. I had some of it, and I'm losing it already. It can be struck down, aye. But in essence, it won't dissipate like the weaker kind. Violet Aether will billow outwards and envelop the nearest living being, a reckless young swords movement, perhaps, and turn her into a brand new warden. Oh, so it is like Mr. Smith from The Matrix. Ah, oh, well, you can leave that particular quandary to us. I must ask that the gods stand down and allow us to engage the leader of the Eaters alone. 
Concentrate on the survivors. We must save every life we can. What? Well, what if? Yes, game? Understood, my lord. As captain of the guard, however, I, I, it's gone. I will not watch you brave such danger without an escort to our ranks. I insist I go with you. Donkey, I, I was purposely not looking over the chat because I knew I knew I was going to get roasted. <laughs> Scottish Fiera. Uh. You want Iceland and got Scotland? I don't even know what accent this is anymore. It, you know what, Dolphy? No accent it is? Panic. It's the accent of panic. You kill it, you bought it, you become it. It's like an English speaking Frenchman trying to imitate an Irish from making fun of a Scottish accent. Uh, so that's the stream, everyone. <laughs> oh, goodness. <clears throat> then our warden slaying party shall include myself, the Levier's Captain Lena, and last but not least, the only one who will actually do anything. A formidable group indeed. Into Holminster we go. Once we reach the Light Warden, do not hold back. We strike to kill. Entertainment's better than accuracy, you know? As of right now, you can do dungeons with the NPCs. I want to do it with my chat. In the subsequent main story, didn't did I miss here that they implemented this for earlier uh, dungeons as well? Well, I won't be doing that. I'm gonna be hanging out with Jesus, hanging out with my friends. Um... All right, Holminster Switch. Peep the SGE glam. Sage. Well, I hey, Kane, I would. You are literally on top of the Exarch. It's hard for me to see your glam. Although, from what I see, it's pretty badass. Got It's got almost like a light steampunk vibe to it. I like it. Looking sexy. And then Floofy, I still love your Oni cosplay. It's fucking great. And Chauffant with the fucking, like, Soul Caliber <laughs> Spear of Darkness. Holy shit. Bigger fancy and slants on it. It's fucking fancy. All right. Well, Duty Finder. Oh, Rumbleborn. Okay, so they did. For, so I'm imagining they'll probably do it for future expansions as well. <laughs> Your bonking stick? <laughs> what you got there? My bonking stick. It's a relic? Oh, that makes sense why it's so fucking cool. All right. First dungeon to Shadowbringers, motherfuckers. Holminster Switch. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, hey! Wait, 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 was that the same angel that her wing cut off? I I think I saw, like, one of the wings was cut. Unless I'm absolutely bonkers. Oh, Dolphin, my heart hurts. I want you to be around us, too. Oh, Jesus. Violence, Jesus! It is. It's the girl with the with the broken wing. Revenge. They just kind of turn the bear into a sin eater, huh? What's your sin, bear? Sir. Why have you been consigned to hell? What was your sin? What was your crime? Bear. Now try not underestimate the bonging sick. True. Oh, uh, how do I pronounce it? Is Leah correct or? Uh, how would you like me to say your name? But first of all, welcome to chat. How you doing? I would like to also ask, can I have your pronouns? I want to make sure I don't misgender you. 
Resident Star Mom. <laughs> Sorry, man. Liam? I was like, Liam or Liam? Regardless, welcome to the chat. How about you find little old me? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, you just kind of have to sit there and wait for the NPCs to do their job. Trust, I guess that's a really boring point for trust then, huh? Oh, well. In concept, they're cool, so I'll take that. Majesty? Alright, that's fine with me. Eggs. Bear eggs? I did not want bear eggs today. Was I the only one who didn't know that bears laid eggs, or is that just me? Yeah, just, just pull packs and the end trust the NPCs to protect you. That doesn't sound dangerous at all. Or bear cocoons. So, so caterpillars become butterflies in cocoons. My question is, what became a bear in a cocoon? You know? Bear cocoon also sounds like it would be like a fancy dish at a French restaurant. Or like a pastry. Ah oh, yes, the bear cocoon. I thought, I thought I had enough. I'm dumb, I guess. Oh well. I guess, Azzy, but like, I don't know, I don't know. I kind of want like there to be like a, like a proto bear. Oh, raccoon, that's a good, that's a good one. A badger, I like that too. Your healing token, oh no. Oh, we're fighting her already? I thought the dissonance was one of the the big boys. I thought this was a, a leader. I guess, I guess not. Ooh, this music though. Got butt rock going on, hell yeah. Brazen bull. I don't like that. I'm going away from that. Oh my god, I was dumb. I was stupid and dumb, but I didn't die. <laughs> Who's dumb and stupid now, game? Also me. Yeah, I imagine uh, this fight's a little bit hard for Black Mage because you have to move, and Black Mages don't like doing that. Like, out of all DPS, I imagine Black Mage is, like, moving the least. Hit the wing? I did. I did, Ark. Started the dungeon, I was like, oh my god, it's her. It's that bitch. Second black character vanilla. Ooh, you, you played WoW in vanilla? What? That's really cool. Oh my god. My wife also started playing uh, WoW in vanilla, but she was baby. <laughs> she was tiny little baby. Ben Chesseline, I'm fucking saying, Ark. That was one of the most disturbing things I've ever, well, seen. Haha, <laughs> English. Um, but yeah, definitely revenge is going to be sweet right here. Oh god, I thought there was a... Please! 
<laughs> I wasn't concerned. You were concerned, not me. Do you have a statue? Yeah, fair. I love it up. Got to take one side of your day, it's ruined. <laughs> oh hey, it's the it's the fucker who makes you see the horrible things that happen in your life from the trailer. The the switch crippling. <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah, so are you a top, a bottom, or a switch gremlin? You can't tell me to do anything, Dolphin. I flip on my own pleasure. Bottom gremlin reporting. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> With the wrong chat, I bet. <laughs> Sorry, right, here, Dolphin, here's a backflip for you. Are you happy? Or wait, here, you know, there's another one. We backflip and die try, we're stylish above all else. I brought dishonor on my family, dishonor on my cow. I'm sorry. Jesus. I will say, dashing is probably one of my favorite things about playing a red mage. One of the most fun experiences in the game is just dashing in with my uh, corpse of core. How much is it for each one of these? 20 of each, so I need 60 total to use the combo. Alright, so I should be able to use the combo now, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. There you go. I did a melee combo and backflip, Dolphin. Have I appeased you, sir? Really fast, it says what? Uh, what? <laughs> Isn't this just like a normal horse demon? Or am I going crazy? Oh no, I am crazy. That's not a horse. Oh no, is that her? No. I don't want to hit Tesla. <laughs> I'm soaking over here. <laughs> oh, I got, I got a thing on me. I don't know what this means. I imagine maybe just don't group and it shows the direction in which we're being hit or not the direction, the order. End your melee combo with the... End your melee combo with the attack with the least mana because then it's a 100% chance to prop verify or air stone. I'll have to figure that out after. I really need to look up a guide so people stop getting upset at me. <laughs> End my melee combo. I mean, I'm just ending the combo with the Vera player, unless I'm dumb. Hey, 
Hey, Nash, how you doing, dude? Oh, but reading? I don't want to read, Dolphin. Yuck. Oh, yeah, I can... You yeah, end it with Barrel to Big White Magic. Yeah, I guess. Is there a better... Is there a reason to do that over Black Magic? low or not okay yeah so I, I was doing that it's just like they were at each at 50 so it didn't matter although I, maybe you're saying i could stack up one high high so that i do a combo jump back and get another one i guess maybe oh melly hey how you doing first dungeon i'm on just the right time hell yeah well the wrong time i'm killing kathleen which is pretty horrifying playing destiny 2 hell yeah dude like just started as in this is your first time playing it at all or just started as in you're getting back into it rest in peace tesseline tesseline pour pour one out for the homie oh you killed her, you monster? I, I sat down at the start of the fight. I waited for her to hit me first. I specifically didn't attack her until I got hit. I'll have you know. Ooh, last Saturday. Hell yeah, dude. Going on a week then. Have you been enjoying Destiny? I heard Destiny 2 got a lot better. I can literally feel the water still pouring down my scalp. That was such a dumb thing to do. Why did I do that? So kind of like this then, Dolphin, I have 66 and 54. So then when I go in to do the melee combo, I'll have more black magic, hit them with a Vera arrow and be more even again. But like, isn't it just cooler to cast big fire? I do definitely tend to turn my brain off when I'm uh, streaming dungeons. When I was doing the extremes, I was more on top of it, but I'm kind of just like empty brain talk to chat mode. I mean, I don't really have to balance mana per se. So let's say I do another Black Mage combo like this, and then I go in. In with a barrel holy like that am i what am i taking aggro why am i taking aggro did i just do a lot of damage <laughs> <Let me know. laughs> <Let me. laughs> I should probably actually focus on individual damage, try to burst down the mobs.
Wait, let me bounce off of you. I was trying to bounce off of you. Dead. Hell yeah, guys. Oh god, they're just coming. I didn't expect them to just start fighting. 14 carry, I'm saying. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I will say Razmage is pretty great, Dolphin. You definitely feel like you can save the raid more, you know? It's like, I did this. I raised the healer. We would have wiped otherwise. Dragoon tank, best tank. <laughs> I, I did some kiting, you know? Come on. Okay, Azzy, I don't need to get roasted like this. Just because I die sometimes, and sometimes there's a drinking game about it, and sometimes people get drunk. Is it just me, or has there never been like a Dark Souls style boss announcement? Like that was, <laughs> wait a minute. It just had like a whole, like, this is my name. I'm the boss thing. A shopper for retail ale death? I haven't died yet. I'll have you know. I will say this is pretty, this music is pretty good. Oh, I can't wait for the music in the near raids. It's gonna be so good. Yep, so I got the 10. Look at that. I did it, Dolphin. I did the thing he told me to do, I think. Oh, I have been chained. Is there something that I needed to do there, or was I just the one who got picked up, picked out? Raise whole team, healer gets comms, sad red. Picked okay, sweet. Get a balancing act of red mage. Yo, I got pumped in. I was reading chat, come on, dude. I just wanted to interact with my fans. Orchestral rolls from near. I didn't even think about that. That's gonna be pretty nice. Uh, that's the one where I need to go away from you, I think. Double go away. So just go like over here. I I don't like that. Okay, so it's gonna go forward and then go around. Hey, look at that! I love the mechanic. Oh wait, we have, a, I, we have someone dead. You are alive now. 
car, I was so proud of myself for like figuring out the mechanic first try. And like, meanwhile, my healer's dead. <laughs> Left. Nice, right, so like over here, I think. Unless I'm really dumb. I wasn't really dumb! Pain. That was almost cool. You almost dodged it. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought there was another one of the sweeps. My bad. My bad, my bad. Head empty, apparently. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm the streamer. I'm the one who's head empty. Come on. It's like the one thing I get to do. The way the world, I'm safe. Hey, stop it. Don't be rude to me. I will cry. My emotional state's horrible currently. Their holy is just much less satisfying, you know? Back on me! I am baby, do not let me die! Yo! Motherfucker Kamehameha me. That's not allowed. That's very rude. And you hey, maybe a shot for every time fucking Kane dies. Oh, I, that was a lot of wet hair that just slapped me in my face. Alright, which one of us is gonna get possessed by the gross thingier thing? Hell yeah, guys! Internet high fives. Also, uh, hypes in chat. <laughs> Kane, that's literally you going, I swear that never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> Fun to bet you, Fawn? Hell yeah. Have a good night. We cannot Lots of love for playing with me today. My lord, we must withdraw. God, her accent. That will not be necessary, Captain. Though I appreciate your concern. The eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. For each we have put down, another has risen up in its place. Born of the self-same ether relinquished by its predecessor. But now we have a way to contain that corruption. Me? I'm gonna slurp up his ether like a fucking sippy straw? What do you want? The blessing of light. And the hero who wields it now stands before you. Hey, I'm a MacGuffin. We don't even need a MacGuffin this time. I am the MacGuffin. Hey, listen! I expected it to be a little bit more dramatic. Maybe like a... Oh! Or something. No? I just... Uh, I... They're Sin Eaters and I eat them, so what does that make me? A Sin Sin Eater? A Sin Eater Eater? What did I do? Uh... Behold, the monster's power is broken and the world twisted by its touch returns to its rightful form. Yay, I did it. This is the first time they've seen the night sky 
in a hundred years. Wow. And it's all because I'm cool. You're welcome. And brought, see, you brought the shadow roll credits. I was a bringer of shadow. You are correct, Chopin. Barely losing her mind. I bet. She's like, what the fuck is that? It's so black and dark and infinite. She, I mean, literally, she's never seen the concept of space before. Like, you gotta look up at this vast emptiness and question yourself. But for the first time at, like, 28 years old. Exactly, Kane. No one's ever seen the fucking night sky. It's so beautiful. Am I gonna just start floating into it? Oh god. The sunless sea. The warrior of darkness has come. Isn't this the library dude that I voice like an absolute nerd lord? Whose hair is clipping through his hood right now? <laughs> this dramatic cutscene where I free them of a hundred years of light and his his fucking hair is clipping through his horn uh, his hood. Librarian? Yeah. Is that what I think it is? The night sky. As it should be. Who are you people? Uh <laughs> you killed a warden? then bathed in its ether as if it were a spring shower and now the sky? The legends are true. My EXP bonus is gone! Oh no! Good point, Bluey. I imagine that would get distracting. Definitely nice. Have a great night, dude. How many years have I waited for this moment? For the one possessed of her blessing. For you. Me! You have vanquished the Light Warden of Lakeland. And for the first time in a century, darkness has returned to the mantle of night. Yeah, all you had to do was suck out the souls of my friends, uh, leave them collapse on a battlefield in a war uh, that we almost died in. That's all you had to do. Oh, and steal away years of their life. You also did that. <laughs> Took my XP up, can't have shit, nor friend. <laughs> oh, I love uh, Bob Cuts, Fluffy. So good. Burger King crown left the party. How could you, Kate? Or should I call you Xander? Without the ever-present light to sustain them, the Sin Eaters will have no choice but to retreat. Yet our victory is far from complete. Though darkness has fallen here, the other Wardens yet bask beneath burning skies, feasting upon what little life remains. I mean, yeah, the whole world except for your town is fucked up. Even should it cost me all I have, I would see each and every one of them slain, that this world might be spared from oblivion. Night, Chauvin. Thank you so much for playing with me. Lots of love and get some good rest, okay? Enjoy the anniversary tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not the Burger King. I'm the Burger Fool. I'm the Burger Chester. Not only for the first, but for the source You're as welcome, well. Siobhan. Save one, and we save the other. But, be that as it may, I concede it was wrong of me to summon you to this fight against you. <laughs> oh, Joker. now he recognizes he was being a little bit of a shit. I swear, on my life, I will one day atone for that deed. But for the present, I beg you, stay and see this fight to its conclusion. Cast down the Wardens and restore darkness well, to the first. I would have to stay regardless because I need to get my fucking friends home. They've been spirited away by you. Hey! Some more of your darkness! <laughs> you know, this reminds me of... I don't know if anyone in chat's played Kingdom Hearts 3, but in the, in like the frozen... Um, not the frozen world, the uh, Tangle world, Rapunzel's doing her whole scene where she's like 
rolling through the grass and swinging through the trees, and Sora, Donald, and Goofy are just like standing in the background. It's like, yes, we are here too. This is what this reminds me of. I'm over here being the main character in the Warrior of Darkness. It's like, hello, <laughs> I am here. MF are pretty much T posing back there. Sounds like a glorious adventure. On behalf of the first, I offer you my deepest thanks. I understand there is much at stake here, Exar, but why do you risk yourself so readily? It must have been a dangerous drain on your ether to summon even one person across the rift. Because the war weapon's gonna die. To give the Crystarium the tomorrow it deserves. That is true now, yes, but the city had yet to be built when you first called forth the Crystal Tower. I'm simply curious to know what prompted you to commit yourself so completely to this particular course. There are... things... which we can ill afford to lose. At least say, it's... not time in the expansion for me to tell you that. And Wait like 20 hours I and then I can tell you. that I had a part to play in preserving them. <laughs> Forgive me. I fear the events of the day may have taken their toll. You just like back there like you taking my title now too, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> This is that my this my this is thankry video got like six hundred views. I was like, oh, I'll make this meme video. It's gonna get like two views. It got six hundred. That's I put no work into that video and it gets six hundred views. Meanwhile, I spent like thirty minutes editing a video and it's like twenty. Chris Archer can't say spoilers. Pretty much, it's like we haven't progressed far enough in this. You you haven't romanced me enough to unlock that dialogue option yet. <laughs> Despite appearances, I am an old man. One burdened with many difficult memories, some too painful to recall. Well then, I'm sorry for pressing you. It's a family failing, I'm afraid. <laughs> One which has served us well more often than not. Needless to say, we will continue to fight at your side until the last Sin Eater is defeated. Come then. My warriors of darkness. Let us gather oh, the like, surviving right villages here. and make our I'm way right back here. to the Crystarium. Oh, Arbert. You default looking ass, motherfucker. That reminds me, I should probably do a shout out for my YouTube. Uh, anyone in chat who isn't subscribed to my YouTube, what are you doing? Click that link, head on over. I put up daily Final Fantasy XIV content. Uh, it's usually good. Sometimes it's it's not the best, but sometimes it's good. Uh, and also, if anyone has any Amazon Prime subscriptions, they're completely free. Uh, all you have to do is not this page. This page. You go down to the bottom, click the button for a sub. If you scroll down and it says free Amazon Prime, consider giving it to me. I'm cute and I deserve things. All right, back to your reg regularly scheduled content when I unfuck up all my freaking bars over here. It is very cute, Floofy. How quickly you have justified my faith in you. So many lives saved, and the sky itself heralds our success. A single victory in a larger struggle, perhaps, but a momentous one nonetheless. Do, 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 do. Now, as for how we proceed from here. Don't make me voice her again. No, I can't handle the embarrassment. <sighs> the villagers we evacuated earlier have arrived. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give her a normal voice. I can't. <laughs> 
The villagers we evacuated arrived earlier has safely arrived in the Crystarium. They seem to have been accepting the situation for the moment. Most folk are far too distracted by the sky to worry about wounds or lost homes. The whisper and wonder of the warrior of darkness has come. Is me. Tis to be expected. Clay, I must ask you a favor. Would you be so kind as to conceal your involvement in this endeavor for the time being? Seeing the light recede from Lakeland is a momentous occasion, and many will be swept up in a maelstrom of excitement and confusion. Should you come forth as a legendary warrior of darkness, I fear that no matter how good your intentions, such an appearance would throw the city into disarray. I find myself in agreement with the Exarch, but my concerns are far more focused on you more. Maybe best if you maintain a low profile until we see how Vothry responds to all of this. Probably gonna be upset if I had to guess. My thanks. Though we cannot fear freely celebrate your success, pray. Allow your heart to be buoyed by the joy of the citizens, a joy you surely brought into being. I love how it's the first time they've seen the night sky. It's overcast, thundering, and raining. Ah, I must ask the same discretion of you, Captain. It is my intention to share with our people the tale of the great warrior who stood in defiance of the Sin Eaters. This unnamed champion defeated the Light Warden and has since departed for parts unknown. Yes? This made him feel hungry. Me hungry. No wonder, boss solo. Ho, 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 ho. Sorry, wrong franchise. He definitely is into Job of the Hut. As you wish, my lord. Your, your penchant for mystery is nothing new, and I would encourage folk not to question this either. Although, I expected to be told the whole truth of it one day about all of you. With that settled, I shall return to the Crystarium and make an address to the people. These explanations and adjustments will consume much of my time, so pray, take the opportunity to rest and recover from your exploits, meaning literally just accept the next quest right away. And to think, you don't even need to shut the windows to enjoy a dark and peaceful night's sleep. You know what would be fucked up? Like, there's no way that they've been, over the course of a hundred years, accurately been, like, understanding with a circadian rhythm when night and darkness is. So they're all gonna have, like, horrible jet lag, because they've probably been, like, sleeping during the day or awake during the night because they can't see the sky. I must stay behind and coordinate an evacuation with the remaining survivors. And I hesitate to ask after all you've done here today, but could you, I ask you to pass on a message on your way to repentance? Please let Bragi know that we are bringing a number of injured, and that any restoratives in the market needs to be re reserved from the infirmary. Yeah, I'll go give that message to him. You just do not have Link Pearls here? Managed to give a whole country jet lag? That's just the power of the warrior light, baby. We should start making our own way back to the Crystarium. But slowly, mind you. It wouldn't do to arrive too soon after the Exarch. I'm staying behind as well. I... There's something I need to check on in Holminster. Gotta went through the village top to bottom, I say. We should all take the chance to rest, you included. I knew one of those eaters. And I can't just... I can't just rest. Not now. Can I vanish for now? Totally, man. Have a great night. Thank you for hanging out, dude. Thank you for running us through the uh, dungeon. Lots of love, man. So please, I wish we left at home for a while. That means you as well, Talail. I should be cross with you if you try to follow me. I promise I'll find you later, when I feel myself again. G Goodbye! Hmm. Just you and me, then. Shall we? Please don't. Tessaline, I know. <laughs> I know, saying it. My heart breaks. I... Uh, there's a reason why I sat down in her boss arena. I refuse to hit her. Where am I going now? Gestarium? 
<laughs> Go back slowly. Meanwhile, Kaleo instant transmission back to the crystal. We both need time to mourn Tesseline. All three of us, my in-game character, Ali say, and me out of the game. Real life to lay old. You're right, I should have res done the respect team on her. I, mean, I, did, I did sit down in, uh, what's the word for it? Raging against the fact that she's there. Resistance. Rebellion, that's the word. Well, the Crystarium seems relatively ordered, wouldn't you say? The Exarch's speech must have reassured to hear. On the contrary, there's something jubilant in the air. I have a feeling this night won't be quite as peaceful as our hoarded Fran predicted. I think I should take a brief stroll around town before returning to my chambers. Once you've discharged your duty to the Bragi, I suspect you do the same. Sleep well, Taleo. I hope untroubled dreams find both you and Alice. Had you emotionally not much for the expansion? I imagine. <laughs> I imagine it's a little bit traumatizing. I've only been doing it for a little bit. I'm already fucked up. Oof. Give me one second. Just fixing something over on the other monitor. All right. That's good. Hi, Braggy. Hi. What can I do for you? Looking to buy a lantern like every other stumbling soul in the city? <laughs> yeah, why would they ever even need to have invented lanterns or lights? <laughs> I see. Well, Captain Lena can be rest assured that any potions that got spot coming will be set aside for the wounded. Hang on a moment. You're carrying messages for the guard. Does that mean you were there, then? The Battle of Holminster? Stalwart lad like you might want to pay a visit to the Wandering Stairs, make himself known. I'm sure Glynod can introduce you to some, uh, <laughs> interesting opportunities. But thanks, I'll do that, I guess. Part of this made me take a break. I shock on M. Walker and it took me weeks to be able to handle certain parts of it. Oh my gosh. Watching tumors hit this one section and M. Walker give you a legit trauma response. Oh no, Kane. That's unfortunate, dude. Ah, <sighs> uh, Final Fantasy and its drone shots. It really is an aesthetic that they've just stuck to. Celia, huh. more beer for the table two. And a couple of pints of me for table three. While you're at it. Coming right up. Sorry, we rushed off our feet today, sir. Can I get you anything? Drinks are on the house. Oh, ho, ho. that brog is a twisted sense of humor. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. There. <laughs> the thing he's sending you to me at a time like this. The first real night in the 100 years has felt all round up and then some. What's more, there was an eaten business at home into switch. They say a light warden was destroyed without a damn trace. Said it was the warrior darkness who did the deed. Thanks, dude. I didn't know. I really must apologize for Glynid. He's been almost as rowdy as our customers in that new small feet. A lot of our regulars are bounty hunters, you see. They mostly go out to Sin Eaters, and the rumor that the warrior's appearance was a spark of the kindling. You know how the weak gators are drawn to the strong ones, right? Aye, they swarm like angry bees around a queen. You need look no further than whole minutes to approve of that. But attacks and lot scale don't happen every day, praise the blessed shadow. 
No, the more common threats are the strays. No one knows why, but every now and again, they need to leave the pack and prowl alone. Those are the ones you run into in the road if your luck is foul. Yeah, like the merchant man that got eaten. Don't think I forgot about that game. The fucking merchant from the goddamn A Realm Reborn beginning got eaten. I get, well, this world's version of him, but still. They're a danger to everyone, so the settlement council puts bounties on their heads, and our bar here is a convenient place for hunters to gather and share information. Seems a few of them were inspired by the warden slang even more than the most. There are... There are these are the types who have the sights set on the absolute worst of the strays. Class of beaches have been dubbed the Cardinal Virtues. The virtues showed up out of nowhere about three summers ago, and when historians heard of the descriptions given by the survivors, well, apparently they shared an appearance with the villains who caused the flood. And if that doesn't send a ch really? What are these like shades of the warriors of darkness? That's fucked up. Iron! Oh my god! How you doing, dude? How's your day going? chat i'm shouting out iron i've shouted him out times before i'm shouting him out again fantastic fucking streamer been doing kingdom hearts and final and uh, final fantasy 10 too recently he's what got me through covid i popped him on when he was streaming during the week and by god he has some great streams i swear to god if you guys aren't following him then i'll be upset at you across the internet so take that other shadow bears uh better than the first day of playing it first day i got the uh well the welcome to Shadowbringers experience with you know the melting face and horrible cocoons but you know today i got to relive that trauma by killing her so that's that, that's good <laughs> and if that doesn't send a chill down your spine they also report to be as tough as the Light Wardens. Not the kind of prey you can take down single-handed. Are these like the Trial series, or...? Our Virtue Hunters had all but given up, but knowing the Warrior of Darkness is out there, lit a fire in the bellies. Just look at him. Yeah. R really looks like there's a fire in his belly. He also kind of looks like Solus. The Himi over there with the oversized sword is Granson. <laughs> Branson, the grandson. He's in it for the revenge. He wants to recruit a comrade in arms as tenacious as he is. The Mr. Lad is Lurik. Don't be fooled by those dewy cheeks. He's as hard a hunter as they come. He just lost a partner and seems to be on the lookout for a new one. I had a weirdest stream ever today. Played three games for like an hour each. They accomplished nothing in any of them. That just sounds like me whenever I play any video games. Roll quests? Oh, these are roll quests? Okay. Ishikawa is sustained by the tears of players. I feel like everyone on the Final Fantasy team is. That's Craig. He's Craig. What it is, he seeks an expert in magecraft to help fight the virtue he's after. Yo! It's Viking Vivi! Last we have Goint, dwarf and drunken both. Want to join forces with the healer, and only a healer. Something about needing a uh, mender's wisdom. I've seen my share of competent veterans, and if you and you have a look about you, maybe you should introduce yourself to one of our hunters. Who knows? Together, you might even collect a bounty in the cardinal virtue. Oh, I always forgot his voice. Now that's a grand idea. Imagine the prestige my bar would earn if we boasted the patronage of a successful virtue hunter. The request line story is now available for tank, physical DPS, magical range DPS, and healer roles. Oh, okay, you have to complete one. Interesting. Definitely. Sorry, Goy, I ain't gonna heal you. I have Varric here, but that's probably not the wisdom you're looking for. It's Craig. What's up, Craig? Do I do this now? I don't think I do this now. I think I chill out and do the MSQ. Brought you a dope ass bow, like a good tra glamour. I almost said the T word from World of Warcraft. Do it now. 
Wait till they do the whole storyline? Um, I think I'll probably do that arc. If I, if I have them all stacked up, I can do like a stream of my roll quest. That might be kind of cool. Time to go have a sleepover with the Warrior Darkness. Get one when you're hard locked. My brain's kind of always soft locked as is. I don't need to be hard locked in the game, too. Oh, I will, Dolphin. I'm going to complete. I'm definitely going to complete it. I just want to, if I can get them all done at once, that'd be kind of better because I can do like a dedicated stream of it, you know? Gotta think of the content, boyo. Hey, there he is. What's up, Ardbert? So it's your lot's turn to be the Warriors of Darkness, is it? <laughs> it's funny how things work out. Yeah, but you see, I'm actually doing good. You just came over to, like, kill us, so... Oh, shmeep shmop. Need to get a healer tank. Physical D best to do... To at least level 70, then? Oh, oh, sorry, you misunderstood me. I want, like, my roll quests to be, like all full like my mage range dps to be all unlocked so i can do them all at once i didn't mean like have a 20 hour stream where i i do every single roll quest <laughs> but you just 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 when you get to level 80 find a time to do them you do not want to be hard locked where they lock you so it's kind of like job quests where they unlock per level not per how far you get so yeah I'd definitely do that iron no, no, Dolphin, that would be absolute insanity. I don't I don't have enough fucking time to level up the class, are you kidding me? <laughs> One second, guys. I need to help my wipe out real quick. All right, back. <coughs> and she was coming by my desk looking very sad and just dropped off Benadryl. And I had to figure out what that meant. <laughs> she just walked over looking sad, placed this Benadryl pack on my desk and walked away. Uh, apparently her allergies are acting up and she's going to go nappy nap. A special capstone series of quests where you do all of them. Oh, interesting. I could do them all if I wanted to. I have... Oh, wow. Hell yeah, dude. I mean... Hell yeah, guys. I definitely would recommend doing them, then, if you are already have the ability to do so. These are my private quarters. I was going to get naked and do the I thing that all guys do where they try to spin their Just dick in a circle. In case you've forgotten, you're the only one who can see me. If we had one of our little chats in public, people might start thinking you'd lost your wits. Thirty-six right things in the market, Dolphin. Good luck, dude. I remember. Are they your friends then? Through thick and thin. And thin and thick. Dude, you gotta clean your fake spectral axe. Aye. Then I suggest you keep them close. So when you charge ahead trying to save someone else that you end up losing those you love. Not that you need telling, I'll bet you've lost plenty. 
but I wonder. What will it cost you this time? Hands up if you think I'm gonna get poisoned this expansion. <laughs> oh heck, a helicopter, helicopter, helicopter. Yeah, yeah. Helicopter. Now you're thinking with portals. I don't remember when it was that I learned regret wasn't worth the bother. You get numb to it all over the years. The lost comrades, the broken promises, the abandoned principles. Just more nagging burdens to ignore. Yeah, but I'm cooler than you, though. Oh, it's Minifilia. Is it? Is it Minifilia? So this is what the light was hiding. He's here. I must go to him. I'm here, Minifilia. Oh shit, she's right by the Crystarium. I figured she'd be like farther away. Meanwhile, inside an Imperial Magic facility in the source. Oh yeah, that place that's, that's embroiled in a war with like poison gas. Intruders! Turn out and fight them! Hey, sweet, I like intruders. That's 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 the best thing to hear. It's to the end! Out of my way! Whoa, she was just chilling there, dude. Stay your weapon. We are not your enemy. Yeah, exactly. What a dick move. Want to find the paladin weapon? Looks like air mix swords I can pair with house. Oh, that'd be really cool, Dolphin. So you about to straight up murder that poor girl. When the alarm sounded, I wondered what we had done to betray our presence. But I see now we are not the only intruders. Sir Estinian, I presume. The dragoon who plucked the warrior of light from the jaws of death. Your armor is most distinct. <laughs> True. It's a little bit hard to know that that's not Estinian, you know? It's like, oh, who was that guy in full dragoon armor with long I white hair? Once was. But even without it, I see a former legator still has eyes and ears in unexpected places. It's a truly an equal opportunity killer, the spirit ready to eat for everyone. <laughs> the new greatest buddy cop duo. Oh, that is going to be pretty great. The sass Van is going to be amazing. Bale, sir, in the flesh, though I understand you prefer Shadow Hunter. Hmm. You are in contact with the Scions, I take it. <laughs> Through no choice of my own, they tracked me down and conscripted me to their cause. Who did? I I wasn't a part of this. I'm the errand boy. I'm the one that does that. You can't just do that without me. I want to talk to Estanine again. I swear that receptionist was trained as a spy. Uh, Not that anyone can escape that Baldessian woman once she has caught the scent of your wreath. Yep, yep, yep. Kataru would be the one to pursue you. I mean, I definitely would probably run a party with it. I imagine doing Savage Unit on Sync would be hard. To using freelancers, I must assume their attempts to wake the afflicted have failed. And what if their champion? Away on another business. Thus, it has fallen to me to root out any trace of the Empire's new weapon. Cop of the Lalas. Yeah, the Taru and Kryl. The They're I'm the best late. buddy cop. My people have already completed your mission here. Yet this is but one factory among many. When they caught wind of our efforts, they built additional facilities to ensure production continues unabated. All right, gang, let's spread up and no search for clues. In the lands they conquer. No citizens to conscript, 
No skills to exploit. Nothing the Empire needs. And they will call it victory. What exactly does this Black Rose do? Poison? The gas is described as a poison, but its actual effect <gasps> is more arcane in nature. Magic poison. It was created to disrupt the ether in living beings, to bring the flow of their life energies to a standstill. So, po so poison. It's just po. It's just poison. The power is gonna be the big bad of a future expansion. Then I ain't playing that expansion. I ain't gonna beat up the Taru. I'll join her side. Ooh, that's a good point, Azzy. He does remind me of Snape. Alan Rickman, Rickman rest in peace. Inhaling even the tiniest oh, it's amount of voice. Okay. bodily functions to cease, much as a potent venom will stop a man's heart. Released over a city, Black Rose could conceivably kill every inhabitant, and all without damaging a single structure. Search every corner! Rouse of barracks if you have to! I want this facility secured! I have more questions, but now is not the time. Seristinian, I have an offer for you, but I will make it only once. Since it would seem we seek the same answers, you are welcome to join us. Huh. From what I hear, you need all the help you can get. In case you don't know, Varys himself confessed that your empire was a creation of the Asians. True. The leader of the nation did confess to that. <laughs> he really did just do that. He's like, oh yeah, don't worry guys. We 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 were made by the Asians, so <laughs> Arbor's Gendry, wow. I am aware of what his radiance said of the parley. Thus, I would return to the capital, that I might behold the truth of this corruption with my own eyes. My path leads to Garlemald. Hey, dude, take my place is pretty much what he's saying about this. Good luck, Dolphin. May luck be in your favor. Yulmore dispatched its military to Lakeland. Cool. Given the timing, one can only assume they do not welcome the return of the night. Even now, the Exarch is in the ocular, deliberating a response. Batman teamed up with Batman. <laughs> nah, I'm more like Batman. They're two Robins. And not even Nightwing. They ain't... But you know what? If singing can be Nightwing. If Singing can be Nightwing, and then I guess, like, I guess Von Belsar can be, I don't know, Damien? He can be Damien, I guess. But I'm Batman. Magic Batman. Red Hood? Uh, yeah, you know, Red Hood makes sense more. Time. As you may have heard, we have something of a quandary on our hands. Nope, I'm just gonna go poke him with my stick. See him jiggle like a bowl full of jelly. Lax and Loft here in Lakeland. Yulmore has sent one of its airships. They have questions for us concerning the death of the Light Warden. Their emissary makes his way here even as we speak. I suppose the sky does rather give the game away. <laughs> Oops. Indeed. It was inevitable they would come knocking. The only question was how soon. My lords, I am come with the Yulmoran emissary. May I show him in? Lena, you talk. 
as much as you want. Every second I hear you is just a gift. A moment, Captain, if you would. Everyone, gather round. I do not wish to show our hand prematurely. Forgive me this liberty. Vanish. <gasps> we invisible! That's just OP. Hello, who dis? Hey. The Fu Manchu? Well, well. The commander of the Yulmoran army himself. To what do I owe the honor, General Ranjit? Ranjit. Yo. He's even got the old man hands behind the back pose. The Light Warden is dead, Exarch. We are people responsible. You are clearly in some haste, my lord. But before I uh, address your question, you must allow me one of my own. What is Yulmore's interest in this? His benevolence, Lord Vorthry, is gravely concerned that the actions of an ignorant few may jeopardize relations between man and Sin Eater. Should it transpire that the Crystarium is guilty of abetting the villains responsible for this outrage, my lord has decreed that it suffer the same retribution. It's open war, huh? I see. Since you have been so candid, I too shall speak my mind. Regardless of who is responsible, the Crystarium rejoices in the Light Warden's death and welcomes the return of the night sky. If Yulmore considers this tantamount, to aiding those you term villains, then by all means, carry out your retribution. Damn, son. Know, however, that even should every innocent soul in the Crystarium perish, nothing can stop that which has been set in motion. Get fucked? Drop, drop, drop fucking knowledge and wisdom on him? <sighs> Folly. The death of one or a thousand thousand Sin Eaters changes nothing. The world is dead and writhe as we might, like maggots in its rotting course. It will not be reborn. Only by my master's grace Yuck. may we live out our days in peace. But I waste my breath. You have made your stance clear. I shall relay your words to Lord Vorthry. In the meantime, you would do well to counsel any here who have done more than merely rejoice in recent events to throw themselves upon Yulmore's mercy. Promptly. Oh, and what mercy it will be. One last matter. We are searching for a young artist and his assistant. Know you of whom I speak? Oops. An artist and his assistant? No. I cannot say I do. What a pity. Should they reveal themselves to you, I bid you hand them over at once. My master is most eager to see them again. Okay, to be fair, the only reason why this is funny is because they have, like, the the uh, italic text here. He didn't do any, like, the voice actor is really good, but he didn't put any emphasis, emphasis on them. So it's supposed to let, like, us know that he does know we're here. Like, reveal and see. But he just kind of read it like a normal line.
Your dumb spell sucks. I mean, he literally just did. He stared right at me. Am I imagining things, or did he just stare straight at us? Of course you're imagining I things, Ali say. There's no way the he could have known. A man to be trifled with. He is a warrior of fearsome repute who has led Yulmor's army since before Vorthry's time, when the nation still spearheaded the fight against the Sin Eaters. One does not command the world's mightiest army, and for so long, without possessing exceptional instincts. If Yulmor chose to send such an individual, we must assume this talk of retribution is more than an idle threat. Yeah, yeah, no shit, Alf, you know. While we are grateful for your you support, saw the big Lord, baby, King. He doesn't care about the fact way. that he'd be sending people to their deaths. Come on. It is noble of you to say, Master Alphino, but my people have been in harm's way since long before you arrived. Yulmor has ever yearned to rule over what remains of the world. Even should we surrender the Warrior of Darkness to them, they would find some other pretext upon which to invade. The people of the Crystarium know this only too well, which is why, when the time comes, I am certain they will fight to the last man. If truth be told, I would not have been surprised had Ranjit declared war here and now. He may have reason to delay. According to reports, the Yulmoran forces at Luxon Loft were observed taking a prisoner. A prisoner, you say? A young woman believed to be none other than the Oracle of Light, Minfilia. I have about had it up to fucking here with you, Minfilia. The first time you're back in the fucking story, you're being certain. Give me a give me a fucking second, people. Give me one second. All right, people. Where is it? I literally have like a video titled "Stop Getting Captured About Minfilia." Where is it? Oh, I don't think I can find it. I, I literally have a video with Minvilia's face on it titled Stop Getting Captured. And it's the first time she's entered, she's back into the story. She's being captured again. I mean, I guess go do your four hours of work. Have a good day, Rex. Enjoy your time at work. And if you can't enjoy it, at least hopefully it doesn't suck too bad. It may be that General Ranjit wishes to convey her to Yulmore before commencing hostility. Having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. Having mentored generations of Minfilias? What the fuck does that mean? Ah, of course. How remiss of me. I had intended to speak to you of Minfilia. There is, however, much to say, and precious little time in which to say it. I think it best that you seek out Moren at the Cabinet of Curiosity. He'll be able to enlighten you. There's very little time to tell you, so instead of telling you, I'm going to send you to the Librarian and have you ask him to explain it to you. Alphino, Alize, what a dumb fucking thing to, to say. You doubtless have insights of your own to offer on the matter. All right, though I'm still not sure I understand it all myself. In the meantime, I will set about making provisions for war.
All right. We're going to do the Stormblood tier list. It's been a while since my heavens were one, so we'll see if my opinions on any of the characters changed. I wish it was a little bit fuller, had more people on it, but that's, I mean, this is the best one I can find. So first and foremost is the Tataru tier. I've decided to give her her own tier so I can just leave S tier for people I like, like a lot. Tataru is in her own space. She is the best character. I love her more than life itself. Moving on. Moving on from Alice. Let's go with Lord Dorito. So this motherfucker... I... I don't like him. He is just a snivelly, slimy piece of shit. Always trying to find ways to ingratiate himself with us. I don't like him. Plus, he's a Lalafell, and therefore everyone hates him just by existing. So, you know, that works for me. All right. Ali say. I mean, come on, chat. Literally nothing in this game is better than Ali say. She's an easy S tier. Uh, under no circumstances would she be anything besides S tier. Her personality is fantastic. We share the same mentor. We're both red mages. I mean, every every scene with her always feels like it has so much like emotion, and the characters just click with each other. I think she's fantastic. All right, Alfino. I think I had him on B tier on my other tier list. I think he's moved up to A tier for me. Definitely has not broken S tier by any means, but he's definitely improved upon since Heaven's Word. I mean, he has, he's grown up a bit, he's learned more, and he's actually understanding that sometimes he's an idiot and sometimes he needs help. So I think he definitely showed a lot of character growth um, up through Stormblood. So I think he definitely deserves a spot in A tier. Ardenvald. Ardenvald is a C. He he's just such a nothing burger. I mean, he really is just like a nothing burger. He shows up, you hang out with him a bit, he's in a couple quests, but he never has any like impact on the story. The only time he ever was ever actually an interesting character that we got to interact with was uh when the what well, what was the name of the Icon. The one of the snake people summoned that tried to turn us. Our vault was helping me block the bubbles. But he sucked at that too. We had to have Fordola come in and help us. So I I, I don't dislike Arden Vault. He's just he just isn't interesting for me. So I'm putting him at C tier for that. Alright. Moving on to Asai. You gotta love to hate him, and for that, he goes in B tier. He's not the best villain. He's not the worst villain. He just is this snivelly little piece of shit that you want to deck. He doesn't make it up to A tier or S tier because he doesn't have really any gravitas to him. He doesn't have any of that like good villain energy. But he did have a pretty fucked up part to play in the story, and they made him to be disliked, which is excellent. Um, uh, Aulus, F tier, literally showed up in the story for like two seconds. Like, I don't even know why he's on the list. He he's the guy who makes the poison gas, and that's what we know. He just if Arnval is a nothing burger, he's just a nothing. There ain't no burger there. This one is troubling though. Ermic, my sweet baby boy, was hands down S tier in Heaven's Word. But I'm judging him not based upon my feelings from Heaven's Word, but my feelings on Shadowbringers. And he's A tier now. I bumped him down from S tier. A tier would usually be good, but he was my he was my bay. This he was my number one. I love that boy. But he really he just didn't he just didn't have a part. Like, we had a couple conversations, and he was in the background a couple times. But Aramek didn't really have an impact on the story. Uh, not to mention, he, like, in the whole talk with, uh, oh gosh, 
Varus. The whole talk with Varus, Aramek pretty much was like, hey, we know about bad zealotry, and then got dunked on by Varus. So he didn't really get a chance to shine in this expansion. Bunshin. Who the fuck is Bunshin? Who the fuck is Bunshin? Well, this isn't... I was hoping for lore. Yeah, I I literally don't know anything about Bunshin. D. <laughs> there should be like a I don't remember this person, so they really don't matter. D tier. Like, Sorabon? Fucking great. Bunshin? Who even are you? Uh, Carvalian? tier as well i mean once again just someone we don't really know about just kind of exists there he's a heavens word character is sad but understandable that he's not relevant outside of ishgard yeah that's like the one downside is i feel like when we go to the next expansion everyone kind of like loses their luster almost like Eric was such an amazing character but then he got shuffled out for new players to have their part which i understand it has to happen we have to be able to move the story forward but I wish they'd be able to bring, like, those S-tier characters forward to, like, come with us. The Enigmatic Figure. Also D-tier. Like, a bunch of these characters are ones that kind of pop up. We don't really interact with much. Like, the Enigmatic Figure, he shows up to be like, Yo, dude, knock, knock. Open the fucking gates, dude. Knock, knock. I'm gonna steal the souls of your fucking friends. But he, he doesn't have any real part to play in the story outside of that. Estinian, S-tier. Fucking S-tier. Motherfucker jumps in and blows up a cannon that would kill us, comes in and saves us from Xenos at the end. Estinian, the emo fucking hot topic boy, the ex-Dragon Slayer. Are you gonna tell me Estinian isn't S-tier? If anyone says Estinian isn't S-tier, they're, they're, they're smoking some reefer, is what I'm saying. Estinian is bae. Estinian S tier, no question. Exactly, Dolphin. There's no, there was nothing that would put Estinian down. He he destroyed an entire like fucking railgun that was gonna blow us up. God, Estinian's so fucking cool. And I mean, this is this list doesn't include Shadowbringers, but he's equally as cool in Shadowbringers so far. Now Fordola. Let's talk about Fordola. Fordola is a very interesting character. Exarch is in my top five characters, but he's not really character into Shadowbringers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, these characters weren't really much of anything in the game. Um, but Fordola is a very interesting character. Probably, if it's hard to say 100%, but she might be my favorite character of the expansion. I think her dialogue written amazing her voice actress flawless i just the delivery of the lines the passion everything was given to that character from that voice actress they they, they lived that character amazing like the fact that the fact that final fantasy didn't fall into the trap of the the redeemable villain where the villain stuff is all just forgiven and they're part of the team now and yippee ki yay Fordola's still a villain for Fordola is still someone who they're never going to forgive Fordola still is going to live with that for the rest of her life but she followed her own beliefs she followed what she thought would be best even to the point of turning it around and changing it at the end Fordola steer I can't put her I can't put her above Ali say, but I think Fordola has a comfortable spot right here right now. One of the best written characters in Final Fantasy XIV so far. She's your third favorite in Shadowbringers after Ali say. Or Stormbone, that's Shadowbringers, Jesus. She's the third favorite in Shadowbringers after Ali say. Yeah, I she's so good. Fordola's a great twist in the villain redemption. Exactly. Exactly. Because that's a trope I thought they were going to fall into. I thought Fordola was going to be like the, oh, she's good now. But they, they didn't. They they took what she did and they didn't let us forget. 
which is very, very powerful because not a lot of stories have the guts to do that. They don't want to address that part because they just want to have that character be good now. Gaius. Gaius, for now, is B tier for me. He showed up at the end. He had some cool scenes with Alf, you know. He had the whole, like, rescuing him and shooting, like, whole planes down with his gun. The destruction of Black Rose. And him, like, bringing Alfino you know, back. I, th I think he had a lot of... A lot of cool stuff about his character. A lot of interesting kind of dualities between the man we fought before and the man who's seen what reality is under the Asians. The problem is he didn't have enough screen time to really develop that. He kind of just was the end of the expansion. So I definitely feel like he's going to be very interesting come Shadowbringers. But I think he can't get put higher than a B because he was just, like I said, like Asai, a solid character, but not a lot of depth. Which I think is what places him there. Gosetsu. The GOAT. Such a good character. Such a goddamn good character. I just have one problem with him. And this is my, one of my pet peeves. One of my big pet peeves is when they kill someone, they use that death to progress the story, to make the players feel that tragedy, to make that be the impetus for the coming change. And then they just revive them. No explanation besides like, and then they lived. Oh, the floor collapsed when the roof did, and we got washed away, and we were on an island, and we found... Like, I don't want to hold that against his character, and I love his interaction with Suyu. I, I don't want him to be dead. I just hate the fact that that trope was used with such a good character, because I felt it. I felt that pain. I felt the, the sadness of Gosetsu dying in that scene, and then it just kind of got reversed. They, they did the Marvel. They, <laughs> they brought him back to life. And even though this, this, this hurts me to do, I can't put him in S tier because of that. And I understand if people don't agree with me on that. This is my thing. This is my pet peeve. But I'm going to give him top of A tier. He deserves that. He deserves top of A tier. I just can't put him in S. I can't. This fucker. Gr Grinyard F tier. Like, who the fuck is this guy? Why is he why is he the fucking comedic relief villain? I he shows up, gets his butt beat, he's like, I'm gonna escape now. Team Rocket's blasting off again. And he always has that goddamn band-aid on his face with his dumb rosy cheeks. I don't get why he's in the story. I just think, like, the developers liked him, maybe. He literally has had no impact on anything. He's just there to be like, tee-hee, look at this dumb, funny villain. I... I don't know. It must be mundane day! Yeah, exactly, Kane. So, 100% F-tier. There's no, there's no way I can be convinced that he's not F-tier. Maybe in Shadowbringers something happens with him. Maybe. But for now, he's, he's just a useless character. 99% of the way with you on that, but I think him not dying there and getting the resolution he wants actually makes him a better character. I agree. I agree, Iron. That's why I'm so conflicted. I think 100%... Him being alive makes the story better. His resolution of the story is fantastic. I want all of that, but without the cheap, like, it's just cheap emotion. It's meaningless emotion. Like, he he is a character, Gosetsu, did not deserve that. He didn't deserve to be used as, like, a pawn to make people feel sad. And... Like I said, it's my pet peeve. I'm glad he's alive. I'm glad the sort of resolved. I think he is an amazing character. It's just he got fucked. Is that the developers like, we need the players to feel sad, but they couldn't stick to that. 
And that's something that I, as, a, as a, a, someone who loves stories, can't stand. The same thing with Nanamo. I love Nanamo, but they did the fake out death on her too. Uh, I don't know. I, I might, yeah, I might just be like even more up in arms against that kind of thing because I'm reading One Piece and there's so much of that in One Piece of, oh no, they're dead, but not really. All right, all right. That's my rant. That's my rant. Let's move on to Hancock. I think Hancock is a B tier, mostly because I just like voicing him. I like I like the voice I gave him and the fact that he's a weeaboo. Other than that, he's pretty much just like there to serve as a device to get us to the next plot point. Like, oh, I have a connection to this place. Let me get you there. Or I have some information. Let me give it to you. He didn't have that much of a role in the story beside being like the connecting piece. I still think he's a fun character, and I think that I really like the fact that they went full on like weeaboo for him um, in his dumb fucking sunglasses. But same with Gaius and Asahi, I think he definitely deserves B tier. I would hate Metal Gear then. Fair. Yeah, I imagine you do that a lot. See where you come from, but I'd say the same about Yasail, but she just gets to not do anything in the story ever again. What? Did they bring back Yasail? Did I get spoilered? Did I miss that? I'm, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen anything about Yasail being alive now. I don't know. Yen. Yen, baby. S tier. S tier. Love this boy. Voice actor, amazing. His accent, incredible. I, oh, I love it. I love it. Just fantastic. Design wise, I love the asymmetrical style of his vest, his sheath, and the uh, guard on his katana. Incredible looking. And then him as the character. The first time we meet him, I think his line is so what'll it be? rebellion or my head or like you know, basically saying like if my people don't want to rebel i will give myself up and that kind of dedication to his people and to making sure they're safe and taken care of is what really like makes him such a great character for me he's what a ruler should be oh thank you iron okay that makes sense using her death as a as a cheap tool to make people feel emotion yeah she didn't need to die yeah, definitely. I agree with you 100%, Iron. Uh, Ysail didn't need to die, or if she or if she did, it shouldn't be like, I'm going to stop some guns on this ship. But yeah, Hian is definitely S tier for me. I think he's an incredibly well-written character, and how he's pretty much... He's a through line throughout the entire story. A lot of the people that were in Alamigo weren't really that connected with the story aside from like Fordola and Lise but like Yugiri, Hien, um oh my god I can't remember their names uh Sadu like they, they had like these threads that connected them through the rest of the story while Alamigo didn't have much That's a good point, Kane. I meant more like giving her the giving her an impactful, meaningful death, not just like killing her. But I see what you mean. Oh, uh, Issei. He should. I think he's top of B tier for me. Issei is kind of like the voice of the people, um, in Doma. He's the mouthpiece that we kind of get to see all of the um unrest the inability to understand that they can free themselves the the fear isei and his sister i think really embody that and they're kind of the point of contact where we meet the first real citizen of doma the first real example of what the empire has done to the populace not to mention um 
his slow change from being against the war to rising up and even confronting Xenos. I mean, he shot a fucking arrow at Xenos. That at least deserves B tier. Anyone who can shoot a fucking arrow at Xenos and not pee their pants deserves B tier. At least. Kane Senna, F tier. Why does she exist? I. I, she has like three lines every expansion. Just why? I'm sure she has some really cool lore that I'm just not aware of. But she, she just doesn't do anything ever. Balls of Steel is what Issei develops? Exactly. Exactly. All right. Cryle. My beautiful girl, Cryle. Where do I put you? here she's definitely asked here um i almost want to put like a tataru cryal thing up here just because i love them so much no matter what but i don't think she can be higher up on s tier simply because like the first half of the expansion she was you know tending to the wounded and not present and then she was captured but like the whole part of the expansion where, you know, her Echo was being siphoned off to power up, like, Fordola, and the fact that they're creating this laboratory with trying to create this artificial Echo. And, man, she's just so sassy. I love, I love Kryle. I just wish she was in the expansion more. Poor Kai said that always getting shafted in terms of screen time ability to do things. I, I don't think she's done a single thing since A Realm Reborn. Like, unless I'm, like, smoking reefer, I don't think she's done anything. Way higher than you expected for Kryle? Or for Kai said that she's been lower than F tier. <laughs> Kryle is one of my faves. I love that girl. Lise. A tier. Hmm. Mm. Yes, I like Lise more than Alfie now. I'm very sad that we don't get more of Lise. I think Ida to Lise was the most incredible character growth I've seen in the game. Lise went from being Papa Limo's stupid sidekick to being this revolutionary who's trying to understand leadership and the role in her life and fighting against this like idea of who she needs to be from both a scion perspective a rebellion perspective who her family was and having her grow and develop over the course of the story from just a meathead who wants to punch things and doesn't think to an actual leader of people and leader of the revolution is it was incredible. I loved her character and her naivety and her passion really spoke to me because I am very passionate and very naive <laughs> and very gullible. So Lisa and I, we have, we have a good connection. I think she is an excellent character in this expansion. Uh, Magni C for Cook. All right, next. <laughs> Magni, um, uh, where do I put Magni? Usually around Magni, the things I like are the people that are reacting to him. Like his character isn't all that interesting, except for his whole like, are you my moon? And then everyone dunking on him. So as a like, comedic relief, as a way for other characters to be cool, I think he's a great character. But as a character himself, he's kind of just an asshole. And a cuck. So C for cuck for him. Lise is honestly great, but people really dunk on her when it's just which is just Sag. I don't get the Lise hate. I never have. Kryle's fantastic, but need more screen time. I agree. I definitely agree. Like, same thing with Ermic. I think that they're high on the list simply because I like them as characters and people. Because I mean, if we're going based up on like impact of the story and actual, like, I don't know, actual interesting moments, Ermic would be like D. Because he doesn't do anything. He doesn't even, like, he doesn't do anything. But I like his character so much, his voice actor, his personality. Him just being there a bit made my heart warm. So this, this list, you know, strangely enough, the list of my favorite characters is a little biased. I don't know. <laughs> Maggie's a great punching bag? Exactly. Uh, Matoya. 
above least, not Gosetsu. But Toya is a fantastic character. She's like the only old person in the entire fucking game. She gives me serious, like, Yubaba energy from Spirited Away. Some, like, she has some like, serious Studio Ghibli vibes to me. And I don't know why, but she's this sassy old lady and she calls, I think she calls Justola a stray kitten, which is one of the best lines. And a little bit racist against Mikotes, but, but, I think Matoya is a fantastic character. And the whole dungeon inside of her hidden cave was a really cool dungeon, the whole upside down castle. I think she was a really well handled character. And I'm, I'm really hoping she shows up more, because any screen time she has, I was always smirking. Finally, it's kind of boring personally. To me, her growth happened during a period where a lot was going on. It wasn't my main focus. That's a fair critique, Dolphin. Got to help for me, but have a great stream today, dude. Thanks, Kane. Thank you for hanging out, man. Thank you for doing the dungeon earlier. Maxima, um, similar C tier. Maxima didn't have much impact in the story. Came in pretty late. Um, you, really, he was just there to be like, I'm a good guardian. Let me take you to guard the Maldalf, you know. And then to be like, the Black Rose is bad. Those are his only two really things. But his voice actor was cool. His design's cool. I like the motivation of the, uh, was it Populaires? I can't remember what their name was called. But like the Garlemalds who are interested in actually being decent humans. So I think same with Arnvald. He kind of deserves C tier. Mefred. D. Like, if I'm upset about someone's character death being used just to, like, progress things, like, come on. They barely even created Mefford as a character before they killed him off. It was He, he literally was there to be like, oh, look how scary Xenos is. He killed Mefred, that guy you went on three quests with. I wanted to like him more. I thought he had a good character developing. I thought he was going to be an interesting part of the story. And then they just kind of, like, killed him to motivate Lise and the player, I guess. He, he got shafted really bad. He got the uh, expendable NPC <laughs> treatment. Uh, Merowib, D tier. Only reason why she's above Kane Senna is because I like how she looks and her voice actress is cool. Doesn't do anything isn't interesting doesn't have any impact on the story it's pretty much the air for fucking uh varus to dunk on no reason for her to be in the story besides that she's a leader um monago uh, probably bottom of b tier um i like that she's from the m tribe which is just very funny just, just calling a tribe the m tribe was a fantastic choice and i'm just i'm here to support it 100 percent um i i i may have a soft spot because i love voicing characters with a southern accent and i gave her one but i think she had a good part to play in the alamegan resistance she kind of was a kind of was a supporting role for raubon throughout the whole war and kind of gave um off this kind of revolutionary spirit that i really appreciated so I think she she was probably like the counterpart counterpart to Issei. It's just Gollumwald was way more intense in Doma for us than Alamigo. Nanamo Ulnamo. A's here. I love Nanamo. You know what? S tier. S tier. Bottom of S tier, but S tier. Her and Rao Bon, the story between the two of them, finding out their past, her deciding to become a ruler instead of just someone who is there to basically follow orders or try to be like naive and good. Her deciding to give Rao Bon the ability to return home and not being like, I need my protector. Her leading the table against Xenos, like this Lalafell in the middle, not, not Xenos, sorry, Varus, standing up to the leader of Garlemald, this cute fucking Lalafell. God damn, I love her. I think, I think Nanamo is the one leader of the nations they decided to actually focus on to make story about. She, like, 
<laughs> I think Uldah is just spoiled a bit <laughs> because of how Realmborn ended. Uldah is kind of the center point of a lot of the story, while the other, you know, cities aren't really. So Nanamo and Raubon and Pippin and everyone from Uldah just get so much more screen time and have an impact on the story. I think Nanamo is a fantastic character. I'm very glad they didn't kill her. I just wish they didn't do the whole poison thing. About to freak out. How can you forget one of the best scenes in, Shad in uh, Stormblood? Yeah. Yeah, I, it was literally, I was like, eight here, and then I remembered the Rabon scene, and I was like, ooh, <laughs> seeing a Lala bias? Fucking Lord Doritos are in D tier. They just have all the good Lalas in the list. Like, the good Lalas are Tataru, Nanamo, Kryl, and Pippin. They just happen to have all four of these in the list. If they had fucking, uh, what was his name? The Teleji Adeleji on the list, he'd be fucking D tier. <laughs> it's just... You know, the only uh, lot of fellas that are really, are really in the story at all are the good ones. Speaking on, Pippin. A tier. Pippin's a great character. He didn't have as much screen time towards the end of the expansion as I was hoping. He kind of like, I don't know. He was kind of in Raubon's shadow, which makes sense because, you know, Raubon's his dad, and it's kind of it was kind of like him coming into the role of the leader of the uh, Immortal Flames. Um, so I don't think he deserves S tier, but I definitely think his character is really well written. I think his motivation to to become something that his father is to like meet the expectations of the Bull of Alamigo to not feel like he's lesser than his father and taking on that mantle, taking up one of the swords, becoming Nanamo's new right arm. I think I think Pippin is gonna have a lot to develop as well. There's a lot of room for his character to become better. So I, he doesn't break S tier for me, but I think he's a really great character. I love all these reasons why they get S tier and then Tataru is up there. Like, I make, I manage money and make clothes. It, exactly. That's why I made it Tataru tier. Because I knew that, like, I'd have to explain myself. And it really just boiled down to, she's cute. I like her personality. Even if she doesn't get enough screen time, she's my beautiful Tataru. And I could never put her lower than S tier. So, to make it so the list isn't weirdly fucked up by that, she has a Tataru tier. That way, no one can say anything about it. <laughs> Laws are the worst or the best. There's no in between. Definitely. Yeah, exactly. If they're like these horrible, conniving pieces of shit that kill people and do shady business and fuck up refugees, or they're Nanamo and Kryle and Pippin. It's pretty much it. Uh, Rosho. I would put him in D tier because he's not all that interesting, but there is one part of his character that I do remember, that I do enjoy, which is what's going to put him in C tier for me, because he decided at the end, when Domo was freed, to allow his men to return to their families if he wished. That kind of compassion for the men that you have is at least a character trait. At least he was more than just the pirate with a heart of, not gold, I guess, but, like, fool's gold, maybe. <laughs> um, he's definitely not as good as, like, Hancock or Gaius or Asai, so I don't feel comfortable putting out to B tier, but he did at least have, like, some memorable lines, so I think, I think I'll put him in C. Sadu, S tier, S tier, S tier for Sadu. Sadu is the best character in the entire Aura section, she is the embodiment of fury in primal battle. Every time that woman's on screen, she is got this crazy smirk, these evil eyes, and, and the threat of violence. I think Sado, Sadu was probably one of the best new characters introduced simply because she is such a, a personality. And plus, the, the culture of their people, where they believe when someone dies, they're reborn, and you can see it in their eyes, and they're named after that person. It's almost like taking the concept of reincarnation to a different tier. 
And exactly, ask for Step On Me. That is correct, Dolphin. She does have Step On Me energy, and maybe that's creeping into my rating. <laughs> Just a lolly hater except Pippin. It's okay, Azzy. We all have our crosses to bear. Solus, um, I'm going to put him top of B tier for now. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to put him top of B tier for now. He didn't have much screen time. This is difficult. I'm not sure about top of B or an A tier. I think I'm going to stick with my guns on B because he, he is an interesting character, but he's done literally nothing besides just be like quippy and kind of like a sassy asshole. He popped up, revealed that he was the one who made Garlemald and did a lore dump and then was sassy and that's about it. I definitely think he's going to be a much better character in this expansion. But all he really got in Stormblood was setup. He didn't get a character. He got the setup for what the character is going to become. I can't put him up on A tier because of that. But I, if I had to guess by what I experienced in Shadowbringers, I think he's going to be probably top of A S tier by uh, by uh, end of Shadowbringers. I think he's going to be a great character. And I'm going to look over at chat and see people very angry at me. The sass, though, remember the sass? I know, he's so sassy. But, 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 come on. <laughs> uh, Sorabon. Our boy Sorabon. Um, he gets above Aramic and A tier because the, um, trial quest line. If it wasn't for the trial quest line, which I didn't even need to do, I, I could have just skipped it entirely. Um, he would just have been like a somewhat interesting merchant character that helped us out a couple times. But with the trial quest line in mind, he was a lot of comic relief. He got transformed into a giant turtle. He's in, he has the turtle spirit inhabiting his body. That's teaching him how to become basically a god. Um, so I think he got a lot more, uh, how to phrase it? He actually got to, to have a story rather than just be a part of our story, if that makes sense. Like, all the good characters have their own story, and we're just touching them. Like, Kien, leader of a nation, leader of people. Like, Gosetsu is a father figure. Yugiri as this kind of, like, protective force. Like, he has his own contained story, and our stories are touching. Sora Bomb was like, I'm a merchant who can get a ship for you. So he just kind of came into our story, and then we got rid of him. But with the trial series, I think he he got his own story. He has his own plot now, his own motivations. He's going to become one of these like thousand-year-old animals. Um, so that's why I think I can place him in A tier. Tansui, uh, D tier. Uh, yeah, D tier. No, uh, C tier. Uh, kind of the same reason for Rasho. Both kind of were like whatever characters, but Tansui did have the, like, no one would blame you for backing out of this to, like, encourage Rasho to, like, participate and help with the rebellion. So at least they had something. They were kind of interesting. Hamaloon is top of F tier, because I literally can't be bothered to care about her. Like, I mean, she was the old lady of the Mole Tribe. All she did was really give us the quests and some lore. Like, the other one, the, the pink-dressed one should be on here. Was it sort of the C, maybe? I can't remember her name, but she was actually an interesting ca character and told me to look out for bull testicles. <laughs> Thancred, come on, dude. I want to like you so bad. You're such a cool character, but you're always either not there or you you get your soul ripped out. You were the first one to have your soul ripped out, man. Come on. Come on, man. I don't feel comfortable with that, about that. I don't feel comfortable about placing him in B tier. But he do, he's just not part of the story. He's always like off somewhere doing a mission. We don't get to be a part of it. We don't get to see him. He pops back in for a couple cutscenes and he disappears. 
So I just I want him to I want him to be there. I want to have our least moment. I want to have our Alfino and Alice moment. I want to go on quest with him. But he's always like, well, I have to sneak around so you can't be with me. I don't know. I'm really hoping he gets more of the limelight in uh, Shadowbringer, especially because I think he becomes a gunbreaker in this expansion if the trailer's to be believed. And he's like holding Mini Philia's arm and running her around. So I'm really hoping he gets time to actually develop in this game, in the in uh, Shadow Shadowbringers. there has got shit to do, I guess. Yeah, he's got off-screen shit to do, which is fine. Urian J continues to do nothing, expansion after expansion. I think he like gave Ali say a sword. Did he do anything else in the expansion? I'm going to leave him at C tier for now. Chat, if you can think of anything he did in the expansion, put it in chat, I guess, because I, I literally can't remember anything besides him giving Ali, say, a cool purple, a pink sword. Uh, Varus. Varus, baby. Uh, in terms of character, I think Varus is top of A. I think Varus is a fantastic villain. Um, I think his kind of warring against the fact that his country has been created by the Garleans, how he's being forced to kind of participate in their calamities, but how he still wants to rage against them to have the fight of man uniting against the Asians and taking over. I, I think he's I think he's a very well written villain. Especially with his interactions with Solus. I think the I think one of the funniest scenes in Shadow nope, Stormblood was him shooting Solus in the chest. <laughs> just it was just pa. Uriyanchi doesn't get amazing until Shadowbringers, unfortunately. He's great in a rubber born leading to Heavensward and somewhere in Heavensward, then he stays dormant for a while. Yeah, it, exactly. Like he had he was really cool during the Warriors of Darkness section. But then he but then he didn't I don't know. He just, he just, they just forget about him. <laughs> He's the researcher guy, that's it. Surprise Varus all of a sudden became very interesting here. Yeah, I thought, like, from what I saw of him, I thought he was just, like, the evil ruler guy. Which, obviously, it's Final Fantasy. It's not going to be that. But that's all he was for, what, three expansions until the very end of uh, Stormblood. And then... We actually got to, you know, talk to him to experience and had to parlay across the table. And he had a he had a force to him, that force of leadership. The like when they actually have the ability to sit down and command a room. Boris has that. And that is due into his design and his voice actor. His voice actor was incredible. He definitely had that grovy toss of a leader. I thought he was a bit of a mustache floor before I all went down. Definitely like the, hmm, I'm evil. Let me take over the world. I want one million dollars. Yeah, Square Enix does make sympathetic villains. I agree. I very much agree. This whole expansion was full of sympathetic villains. Besides Asahi, he can, he can burn in hell. Yotsuyu. There. What can I even fucking say about Yotsuyu? If you want to talk about having a commanding presence, the first goddamn time we saw that woman, it was in this like seaside camp where she was just coming there to order these people to kill their families to appease her like hatred of the domains and everything she says is dripping with this malice this evil intent this hatred that comes from her past and once again same thing with fordola the writers don't let her become just a victim she is powerful she is scary she did these terrifying acts 
and her past isn't used to excuse that is used to contextualize that and that is what makes a good villain that is what does it where the past is not an excuse for them where the past is meant to make you understand them yotsuyu deserved what happened suyu did not suyu was almost more tragic to me than Yotsuyu. Completely memory this. All she knows is that there's the samurai who will protect her and that people hate her. Almost like a child living in the body. It was the only time in her life that she got to experience innocence, where she got to experience the fact that she didn't have to be in pain. And then it was ripped from her. She had to go back to herself. And it's the question, do you want to live in this blissful ignorance where you lose yourself? Or do you want to live with the tragedies that have happened to you to remain true to yourself? And it was just, it, it was, it, it literally made me outside of game think about that concept. How would I as a human handle that? Do I give up my trauma? Do I give up? those negative experiences that have built who I am to get that peace? Or do I take that negativity and live with it? It was a really interesting question. And I, I, I think Yotsuyu was the best written character in the expansion. I love Ali say Yotsuyu best written character in the expansion. I'm not like some other people in my chat who are like, Step on me, mommy. I think she's a great character without the step on me, mommy part. You guys can have that. I think Orianji is a good secondary character pre Stormblood, uninteresting in Stormblood and post Stormblood. He's the top five characters. I'm looking forward to it. He really has a lot of potential, especially with his JoJo poses. I say this all the time. You don't need to understand or agree with what someone does. You only need to have to know that they would do it. Yes. Have to know that they would do it and not let their reasons for doing it excuse why they're excuse the fact that they are doing it. Stola, you're getting the air treatment, girl. You are one of my favorite characters. You were so underutilized. If it's in 76, thank you for the follow. How are you doing today? Hey, you came during my uh, opinion stream, so everyone can be angry at the streamer. <laughs> um, so you stole another character that I loved, like Ermic, that I loved in Heavensward, and then they just didn't have a role in Stormblood. I mean, Yushola didn't even show up till I think post game. I think, like, Xenos cut her down, and we didn't see her again until the, the post-game questing, I think. Um, so it, it hurts me not to, like, have her higher up, but I, I can't give her higher than A. And she's only really there because of how much, like, how much I enjoyed the little I got to spend with her. Doing good? Excellent. All right. Well, let's just rate Hori Boulder. I don't know why Hori Boulder's on the list, but, I mean, he can have... He can go he can go next to Ardenvald. They're both basically the same character. <laughs> um Ardenvald hasn't gonna be mad about that, but I mean Hori Boulder's he's there. He does a couple of quests and he's part of the Scions. <sighs> Last two. You giddy. I'm I'm gonna get some hate for this. I'm gonna get some real hate for this. Top of B tier. She didn't have a personality, this expansion. And I don't know if that's just me, but she, um, all she really did was go, Lord Hien, I'll do this. Lord Hien, I'll do this. Lord Hien, I'll do, like, 
it feels really bad to put her in B tier because I loved her in Heaven's Word, but she didn't do anything. She had like the one scene in the beginning where she tried to assassinate Xenos. And then after that, she was pretty much just a messenger for Hien. And it's not what she deserved. I think Yuyiri is a fantastic character. I just don't think they used her very well. Right, highest is B. Thank you for agreeing with my opinion. It makes me feel better. I would tell you what you get. Sorry. I would tell you what would get you fried like a tater tot in the oven for too long. That'd be spoilers. You hear he's a solid B plus also. Okay. Hey, Lobo. Welcome to the chat. How you doing? Got two first time chatters in a row. I, you know Iron? Well, hell yeah. Iron's a good person to know. Yugiri in Stormblood's B and Heaven Word she's an easy high A. Yeah, definitely. I thought I was going to get way more hate for this. I know there's a lot of Yugiri levels, lovers out there. And finally, Xenos, yay, Galvis. This motherfucker. This hot ass, beautiful ass, best villain ass. Love this guy. Xenos, if it wasn't for Yotsuyu, he would be my favorite character in the expansion. I love Xenos. He gets a bad rep from people because he's like, oh, they think he's just a meathead who likes war. That's not Xenos. Xenos likes the hunt. And it's not just, oh, he likes to go out and kill people. He constructs the hunt. He created the situation where Doma and uh, Alamigo were in. It's his fault that the, they're so crushed under the boots of the Empire. Why all these people are on the brink of either rebellion or destruction. He pushes them to that point specifically so he can breed the war he wants. And he goes to any lengths for it. I think Xenos is right here. Yotsuyu and Xenos are my two favorite characters of the expansion. And it's almost impossible for me to decide who goes top, except Yotsuyu just has... just has so much to her and so much depth to her character that I think she deserves to be slightly higher. But Xenos... Wow. What an amazing character. Xenos here, Xenos an artist. Yeah. I will contest you doing Mel Web dirty, but in showering is she didn't have a lot to do. Yeah, that's what it is, Lobo. I think Mel Web is a great character in the earlier expansions. But like all of the leaders of the nations except for like Raubon and Nanamo didn't get like any part to play. Speaking of, why the fuck is Raubon not on the list? Wait a minute. Well, well let's have an honorary Raubon. Honorary Raubon goes right above Lise, and maybe in front of Matoya. Raubon goes here if he was on the list, which I don't know why you wouldn't put the bowl of motherfucking Alamigo up here. But if I had to put him, he'd probably be between Matoya and Lise. Z is how you write a static character, right? Yes. I honestly forget if she speaks in Stormblood. Uh, Merwood does. She has, I think, three lines when they're on the... Uh, table against Varus, like they're discussing stuff and she's like well we're a nation and we didn't decide to subjugate people and he's like well what about the fucking Sahagin then you want to kill them all and that's pretty much all she does has like three scenes yeah pretty much all right so I think this is a pretty good tier list I don't think I would really want to move anyone I think I got a pretty good First time on it. I still don't remember who the fuck Bunchin is. A at all. But, yeah. I think this is my list. Feel free to uh, rage as much as you want. Call me as many names as you want. But, know that this is irrefutable fact. Because the streamer said so. Thank you. Right. 
Jesus, I did that for like 50 minutes. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, right, let me save this so I can keep it. Yeah, there's a lot of tit for tat, Lobo. <laughs> a lot of like, well, you did this. Well, you did this. I there, there's no right person in the fight, and that's what makes it a good. Um, that's what makes it a good story is that the Sahagan are equally at fault as Narweb and the people of Limsa Liminsa. And that's what makes it a good story. If it was just like the bad lizard people hurt us, it just it wouldn't be a good story. Tath one of the beast tribe? Oh okay. That's why I don't know who Bunchin is. Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't done... I don't think I've done, like, any of the Beast Tribes. I should eventually. There's, like, there's a lot of things I should eventually do. There's just so much in the game. Okay. Mm, it's about 10 p.m. I think I might call the stream there. We got our tier list taken care of. We're at a good stopping point in the story. If I go any further, it's going to get crazy. So, yeah. I think we'll leave the stream here, guys. Uh, one last time for people in chat, please check out my YouTube. I put out Final Fantasy content every day, which is a lot of work. <laughs> and if you are interested in the content at all, drop by. Give me a subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, and it makes a number go up, which is better for my chemicals in my brain. You first go to the blue coaching town, you say hi to him. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. And I think during the... Um, the trial quest line, you go back and forth with him to talk about Sora Bomb, but that's pretty much it. I love Zeno's because of everything. He's just perfect in every way, even his name. That's where I cross. Oh, sweet. I like that. <laughs> and Iron has the best Zeno's uh, emotes, the Zeno's heart. <laughs> He's tenacious D covers. I, I mean, I kind of do have the Jack Black. I got a big beard, long hair, kind of chubby. I, I got kind of the Jack Black going. It, there's worse things to be compared to. Zeus never changes, and we would never want him to. I don't ever want him to have a redemption that's completely out of character. Well, he is dead. Dolphin. He can't really have a redemption. He's dead. And he's being puppeted by uh, an evil ghost. Let's see. Anyone on the I want to raid? All right. Well, I'm a sucker for VTubers, so let's go raid this one. Their name is Nobby. And let's see, what are they playing? Oh, they're playing Final Fantasy as well. All right, so let's go give our love over to Nobby, the uh, streamer. Only the best for Husbando? Exactly. Jack Black is one of my favorites. Don't ever feel shitty if someone says you remind them of Oh, 100%. Jack Black is amazing. So this would go into the underworld kicking and screaming before he would ever get a redemption arc? Exactly. All right. So, we're heading out. Everyone, I will see you again tomorrow. I'll announce in the Discord when I'm going to go live. It'll most likely be around 4 to 5 p.m., but I'll let you guys know. Um, we're probably going to do some more Shadowbringers, and if it gets too heavy, maybe do some Hildebrand. Um, otherwise, I am going to say farewell. Have a great night, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.